We've actually gone to therapy about it because I I overthink. Yeah, we have our uh, we have our caskets planned. We yeah, have our, I, like, I, we have the cemetery plot. Above, above, above ground, below ground. ground. What are we doing? Nothing temporary. I hate the okay. temporary yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. Let's go home. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. Today we are joined with new parents, Keenan. and Amy. The we proud parents of a banana. Saying, yes, yeah. of a banana. Other than we ju we a just banana. found out. That's banana. the size of the baby today. We were yeah. a grapefruit a couple days ago. Today we're a banana. That is, yeah. uh, we got elongated we? overnight. Yeah, so the baby <laughs> is growing in length right okay, now. Okay. Um, He's also growing, I guess, in width. Yeah, he grows as well. in width later. He grows. <laughs> I don't really Life know today. how it goes, but like, apparently, <laughs> our fruit just changes. Like, I, honestly, now I'm just a little curious because I wonder what our next one is gonna be because well, after it's, banana, yeah, it's so weird. Like, we go from like these thick, thick things to like a skinny cucumber. And right, you're like, like, huh? fruit. To a banana, right? That seems like a that seems like a like we got squ kinda. yeah. So okay, we're still we're still skinny at twenty two weeks. We're a corn. <gasps> oh, his favorite. A corn? It makes no sense though. <laughs> but yeah, like I was trying to say, Monday is when we see like what the new fruit is. Yeah, yeah. and we're Thursday, so we're halfway between a banana and a corn right now. Whatever that would right. be, we're halfway. <laughs> Right. Or, or a small corn or a big banana. Yeah. You know, you're the corn the corn they make for um feeding cows, it's that like thick Iowa shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. where I'm Iowa from. Corn. Oh, yeah. yeah that, you I should know an, that. An yeah. Iowa I have a tattoo corn on me. in there. Yeah, we have an Iowa corn Iowa? in here. I'm from Iowa, yeah. Wow. Unfortunately. No, I, listen, uh, Hawkeyes. I love Hawkeyes, but I grew up in Nebraska mainly, so I'm mm. going to go, yeah, I'm going to go with Corn Huskers. Corn Huskers. Corn Huskers, yeah. It all comes back to corn. Is that a team? I, yeah. Corn huskers, yeah, Nebraska. The corn huskers. I didn't know that you grew up in Nebraska. So I was from, I'm, I was born <laughs> in. <laughs> what? You know, you were just saying hey, that we're, like, we're like this is the first podcast yeah, together. Wait, right. hey, what? Yeah, this is how much we don't talk. So I was <laughs> Sioux City, which is like very, very, like is that on the edge. that Sioux City? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. So yeah, there's a bunch of X's in there. I don't know no, how. No, no, it's, there's a lot of vowels in an X. S-I-O-U-S. Yes. 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 Sue, it's but just, it kind of makes sense. There's Sioux Falls, there's Sioux City. Sioux City, yes. Yeah. And when I tell you that I ignored the pronunciation in my head when I read your Wikipedia page and everything, Sooks. I skipped it every time. Yeah, you look at it like, uh, okay, he's from Iowa. Yeah. Well, we we well, call sex Souks, so, you yeah, know, that's, yeah. 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 So yeah. Souks, it, it makes sense. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, wait, wait, let me let me, let me, me do your little intro first before I forget, because I've, okay. I've been getting better at intros. Okay, today we've got Keen and Ayla, who if you're joining via audio and not video, are beautiful are beautiful and pregnant and glowing. Keen, you also have a nice pregnancy. And we're yeah, gonna, if you're trying to a, imagine a it, one of us is. A team effort, a yes. team effort. You both got your pregnancy glow and it's beautiful. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And Kia's just sweating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine, mine's just sweat. It's a, a new to be dad sweat. Yeah. Yes. Um, so Keen Lolly, OG YouTuber, streamer from O2L, one half of the Keen and JC duo, an actor starring in a handful of movies, including Before I Fall. Um, Ayla. I'm so scared for what she's gonna say about me. <laughs> That's a nervous laugh right there. That's a very nervous. Like, it's all silent. Like, he's like, he's like, oh, too well. YouTuber, actor, does all this. Blah blah. Ayla, new mom. mom. <laughs> Which would be enough. Which that would be enough. way more than enough. That's yeah, a lot of work. Exactly. Oh no. Okay, I did a lot back in the day. Okay, so wait, just wait. Oh, wait, uh, maybe you do you want to do your own intro? Okay, here's what I have, <laughs> and then you do yours. Okay, I mean, if you have more than me, then I'm gonna be sad. Okay, go. I'll start naming more about. Okay, me. go. <laughs> Ayla, lifestyle influencer who dabbles in fitness and fashion. Um, pup mom mm -hmm. times two to three, 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 sometimes three, four, five. sometimes four, and more recently, mommy vlogging. Yes, okay. traveler as well. She did that lifestyle and oh. No, I, no, yeah, yeah, traveler. Yeah, did I miss sure. anything? Sure. Yeah. Also, you have a crazy traveler. degree in industrial and organizational psychology. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah, I did. So I, I did the whole like I didn't go straight into like social media. I did yeah. the whole like go to college. I went to San Diego. Did the whole get your bachelor's degree. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Yeah, I know. What the heck? <laughs> Wait. So what is what's, what's the actual title again? It's industrial and organizational psychology. I got it. I nailed it. Yeah. How did you know that though? I did my research. She's like it, Google. In videos, she's asked me that probably two or three times. And all I remember is like organization, psychi psychiatrist. <laughs> Super Very, close. Yeah. So, so it's close. like, I'm so almost close. there. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it's it's more of like a newer major. I feel like every time you go to college now, there's literally a new major you can do. Yeah. yeah. And <clears throat> I was like, so interested in psychology. And re actually I wanted to be a family and, um, marriage and family therapist. Mm. 
And I started taking classes. I started getting the training for it. And then I would go to this like, it was either before class or after class program. And sometimes you can go in and you can sit on, you know, people having their sessions, their sessions, as long as they are approve of it. And I had this one lady come up to me after and she's like, listen, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're so sweet. And I think you're a great listener. Oh, no. And I think you would do really good. Definitely listening and giving advice. But I don't think you're going to make it as far as you think you will. <gasps> what? Oh my Wait, God. What? what? Yeah. And I was like. I love watching Key and learn about this in real time as well, too. I mean, and yeah, I there's like, the, I'm glad I'm on the podcast. <laughs> I get to learn more about it. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I don't know. Nice she you. goes, I would stick more to children if you could, because you have a very like can, inviting personality. Yeah, like children your would love that. But with think about family and think about marriage let's say a husband and wife are having issues. Do you think they're going to want to come in and sit and talk to you Damn. when your husband, her husband might be glaring at you when they're having issues about. Was well, this she, a woman? Or yeah. She basically, to she basically told me in the, I don't know. It sounds very conceited to say out loud, but like that I was too good looking to be. That a man might not respect you because you're too hot. A woman and a husband yeah. would not want to come in with me and she would not want to leave her husband alone with me if they're already having issues. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that's a compliment. Okay, also uh, Ted Jesus. Lasso so, really congrats. brought me down. Yeah, I was like, awful. wait, for real? Like, and she goes, well, think about it, honey. Like, who would you want to see if you were having issues with your husband? And I was like, well, her I or her. And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus and Christ. Then, and then oh. I was kind of like, oh my God, what if I doesn't, what if I don't make it? Like, you know, and I was, I was getting scared. And then she was like, try child psychology. Yeah. I give so many, like I give hands down props to all the children psychologists out there. It's very hard. Like mm. kids who go through trauma, like I would be one of those people that would bring my work home with me. I'd be right. crying all the yeah. time. Yeah. It's it, heavy. It's heavy. You have to keep things to yourself. Yeah, you unless, can't really leave that. Yeah. You can't tell anybody work. about what's going on. Like let's say a child's getting abused. Mm. You can't do anything about it unless there's certain look at like, the, the rules about getting involved. Legally. Yeah. Hello? And the, yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to say. Legislation, there's yeah. rules, right. there's it's protocol. Not, I assure you it's not legislation. Legislation, yes. right. yeah, it's all the legislation. <laughs> Congress <laughs> meets. Yeah, like, okay, the legality? you guys, like, yeah. Like yeah. the legal stuff yes. about it? Yeah, there's certain yeah. things. You can't just go out and you can't tell just like, it, like a child can't just say to you, I'm getting beat, and you can instantly be like, you're not going home, let me help you, blah, blah, yeah. blah. You, you have to sit there and continue your sessions. Then you have to like, go over certain protocols and then it's just so much. And I was like, I don't think I could handle that. Well, right? Yeah, because you have to take in what he's saying and then your next session has to come in and unload while you're still thinking about that last one. Well, yeah. then I'm scared and I don't want to let this person go home. Go, yeah, but yeah. Then I have to, I, yeah. I can't hold them. So it was like a whole thing and I was like, I can't do it. So then I was like, what do I, what do I want to do? Because like, I still love psychology. And then I found out that there was industrial and organizational psychology, which is literally a fancy word just to say like business psychology. Mm, okay. And the easiest way to like tell someone like what you can do with that is like human resources. Oh. What would have happened or like where would you would have been now if it did work out or if like you did go down that Right, that I was just thinking that. Like if you had- I know. How much would be different? I really, I always wonder how my life would be different. I mean, I'm so thankful for how my life has turned out yeah. obviously, but I I definitely, I, I wanted to do that. I was like, okay, I'll be in psychology and I'll do all this stuff. And then when that kind of didn't go, I got my human resources certification. I like mm -hmm. just went to another college after and got that certification. And then I did human resources and I hated it. Really? Because you can't talk to anybody unless they come and talk to you. Yeah. And then it's like oh a whole- Oh my God, that's so lonely. Yeah, HR, so HR, is, fun, it's HR fun is terrible. Well, it's you in the, sit in yeah, an office yeah. all day. In the office, yeah. the show. <laughs> the eight, the eight. HR, yeah, Toby. Oh yeah, Toby, he hated. Told his life, yeah. <laughs> it's the worst. Yeah. Everyone makes fun of him. I know, so I was just like, this is not for me. And then I was like, maybe I'll do event planning and all this. It was just like a bunch of stuff. So I like really went through getting my certifications and everything to not really doing much with it. Cause I was like, I don't like anything I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then somehow in the midst of like figuring all this stuff out, moving from San Diego back to LA, I happened to move into this one apartment called 1600 Vine. Okay, uh, I was gonna ask you. So yeah. I, my boyfriend at the time lived in that building. Wait, and okay. Wait, whoa, yeah, whoa, wait, whoa, wait, whoa. I don't remember this guy either. Can I stop recording real quick? Um, can I take a little break? Give me that, give me that ring back. <laughs> um, but I lived right next door at 1480 Vine. But oh, what year did you live at 1600? I, okay, so I lived at 1600, um, 
Oh God, was it like 2017 or 16? I was, yeah, I would have been there 2016. I'm okay. sure we crossed, I think I met you we once probably when did. you were assisting with Logan. Okay, yeah, probably. I mean, I literally met every single person ever, like just walking by. Literally like, every Vine stuff. person ever lived in that building at that time. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah, and it was like, and, and it wasn't even, you know, I, I I knew about that building because I'd actually, um, I had met this guy at a party and his name was George Janko. Yeah, 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 George. And I was telling him that I was trying to figure out a place to move and stuff like that. And he was just mm -hmm. like, oh, you should come move in this building. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is this building? And he's like, oh, it's 1600 Vine. Like, yeah, All you the cool come, kids are doing it. Yeah, you should come by. <laughs> yeah, should come I'll, I'll, I'll introduce out. you to my friends. And I came by and he introduces me to his friends. And this isn't like, just like one of those things where you're just like, oh, hey man, like come over, say hi to this girl, blah, blah, blah. It was like, you just walk up to everyone's door and you knock and you just walk in. And you just walk in and, and everyone's door is unlocked. It was literally like a frat house for YouTubers. Like that's I, how I felt when I was there. I literally, the first day I got there, I walked in and I, he introduced me to Wampa. He yep. introduced me to Johannes. Mm -hmm. He introduced me to Amanda Cerny, King Batch, Logan Paul and Marks. They were living together. Yep. Um, Fuzi was also in the building. I didn't meet him at the first time, but like, oh, oh one uh, of the then, Johns, and then, and then one I of went, the Johns brothers, Sue was there. Yeah, Marcus, and Marcus I, was there. I love and Marcus then I Jones. went to like this like game night with like you know back in the day like Taylor cut films and Alyssa Lynch when they were dating yes, and yes, stuff. Yes, yes, yes. And it was like I walked into the building and I was like I've never in my life seen everyone who was friends in one building. I was like, I have to move in here. Like what the heck? <laughs> so I moved in um, with my ex-boyfriend at the time and- Boo. Boo, yeah. Boo, boo, boo. 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 Yeah. Boo. Let's run that back. <laughs> <laughs> I run that back, yeah. Um, and then that's how I started to get to know everybody. And then I started doing YouTube a little bit myself mm -hmm. and started doing like Instagram stuff. And then right when I started, that's when Logan was like, I think we should do something together. Like, you know, you could be my assistant or whatever. And we'll, we'll kind of play it off like it's like a character. Mm -hmm. Like you're not really my assistant, but you're also going to do some work. You were like a character like, in his vlogs. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, then yeah. I was also doing work. So I was like. <laughs> yeah. Not also, getting paid either. Really Wait, you were getting paid? No, I was getting paid. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I was like, I was definitely under the impression that you were actually like no, on I payroll. Literally was on payroll. Okay, good, I, good, I, good, I was good. like. I can't As do you should be. Yeah, I, I couldn't do anything. Like he was like, you can't take brand deals and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, that's fine. He's like, you also can't do YouTube. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So then we were doing like all this stuff with him, which, um, you know, in the end, like I'm, it was, it was hard, but <laughs> I'm so thankful. Like, I mean, it got me to where I am today. Like I got mm. to meet so many cool people and. Now you're growing bananas. Now I'm now growing yeah. bananas now and banana Iowa girls. corns. Yeah. Corn, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's the corn. I, that was uh, that came out from left field, but I'm glad it's the yeah, corn. Yeah, I know, me too. I didn't think we'd hit corn. <laughs> Did you want to go back to, and just like tie up the loose ends on you growing up in Nebraska? Or I No, think, it's, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I don't like, want to take that away from you guys. No, but, but it's funny because I've been to his old, not your old home, but I've been to like Iowa with you and we've been oh, to your home. home. No, but like we've been to your grandpa's home. house. And like, Place where I <laughs> he, he is right on the edge. So I get I get what he's saying. Like yeah, where we stayed in the hotel. Yeah, it's that's like Nebraska. literally the edge. Like oh. you literally go over the the, the street, the, the freeway, yeah, and, and it's, it's like, oh, you're in Iowa. There's one bridge. Sioux City is like here. There's a there's a, a billion of them, but I yeah. live next to this one. And it's the state line. Yeah, yes. it's, yeah. It's the river. The Mississippi crosses wow. uh, through Nebraska and Iowa. So I grew up mainly in Nebraska. Yeah. Okay, and it I, makes I sense in my head 50, 50. now. Yeah. yeah. Am I talking a lot? You, you, no, you're great. <laughs> no, Ayla, this is uh, yeah. great. This we, is your first that's time. That's what a podcast no, is for. Yeah, we got to. No, we're no, just going to We chat. brought you on so just you could talk. Just to chat. So you want to talk? Like, He's like, you, you he's like, so Keen, you want to type loose ends on Nebraska? It was like, well, uh, so I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. What's it? So is Sioux City? Sioux City, yeah. What was the city in Nebraska? <laughs> Didn't think that was gonna be a hard that question. Probably we why like, I don't, we yeah, can move not, on. That's not, where, not that's a trick my, question. Yeah, that's where my grandpa was from. Yeah. That's like that's where his house was. I don't know the city though. Okay, all, all good. Just yeah, Nebraska. I don't know. It was just both. It was, I lived on the bridge. Yeah, I, I've, got I, it. I feel like the amount of times that I'll call it some random city in the middle of America. And yeah. Who would have thought 19 people? I'm yeah. also from this random city. I'm like, there's 30 oh, people that live there. Yeah. I thought yeah. you were gonna say you're from Iowa. No, where are you from? Illinois. A little, okay, yeah. I, you, feel, you feel I the pain. Summers, yeah, yeah. I spent summers uh, in Quincy, Illinois, which is on the Mississippi, mm -hmm. not that far from Iowa. Jeremy's mom was the uh, corn princess. That's in South Dakota. 
South Dakota, that's like there's the, a corn the, yeah, Christian. South Dakota. She was, she was Sioux a, Falls. Yeah. Sioux City is super oh, north. Oh my god. That's of Iowa. So funny. And then you cross over in Nebraska and the part where he was from, my grandpa in Nebraska was super north. Mm. So South Dakota was right there. I was like in all three of those oh, you're states. You're over there. Oh yeah. I, I love oh, it. Oh, you're there. you're in the middle of corn country. My Wait. my aunt lived in South Dakota. Why was there quotes for that? Because it's not my aunt, it's like my mom's best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. It's auntie. Yeah, I got you have it. a yeah, corn it's tattoo. Like my auntie. Yes. Oh yes. It's way up here, so I. It's a big one. Yeah, I would have to take off everything, which I know everyone take would be off. super excited for. But yeah, it's, it's corn tattoo. Okay. Straight up corn. Well, we'll get a picture of it on screen, so we'll, yeah, yeah, we can share well, it's with the right class. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, corn tattoo. I just have to Wait, remember my roots. I feel like are you gonna get baby tattoos? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm gonna get the baby. Okay, someone's asked me this before. I'm gonna get the, 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 the. I love having first conversations where we all get to be. We just throw involved. one little thing yeah. in there, and then we just go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like. And you set the fire. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I made a joke that I was gonna get the baby's face tattooed on my face. Okay. So I'll never. All right. What? That's a bad idea. Keep going with your story. We'll, for we'll sure. workshop I'll, this this yeah. idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just an idea. So attach the thought. baby's face on your face. On my face. Okay. So yeah. I'll, I'll always Maybe look Lauren like Maybe Lauren can baby. DIY it for us real quick as like a temporary. Mm. Yeah. We'll mm. do one of those and then yeah, we'll just you know what? See. We'll we'll get like Manny Mua to yeah. do your makeup yeah. to look yeah. like yeah. a baby Love or something. Manny. Yeah. Love and Manny. we can we can maybe go that yeah. route. Mm. I genuinely thought you were gonna say we get Manny Petties and talk about it. I was kind of down. I love that idea. I was kind of down. But I just I, want to be there for the Manny Petty. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get like the name and cursive or kind of like, you know, those, the people who get like their baby's face, like the, the most specific portrait of like, yeah, like an know, actual portrait. Yeah. On like the side of their mm -hmm. arm or like mm -hmm. big on their that chest. That always ages well. I don't think I'll do that. I don't I think, think you should do that. Like a little name or. I like doing like, like the, the birth date. date. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, the yeah. We're, on the wave, we're on like a wavelength together. I feel like, yeah. Same wavelength. You guys did a video. Uh, the video that you guys did sharing both of your perspectives of how you met was so cute. And your stories were so aligned. I was very yeah. surprised because I almost always am like, what is he going to say? Like, okay, I well, don't the know. truth, for someone who <laughs> no. didn't watch that video, could I get the Reader's Digest? Yes. The, oh, the yeah. very, very quick, like it's a very long story and it's a very like not cute story. Okay. I got very- It's better if you watch it on YouTube, so- Yeah, you, you can get the longer version yeah. there. Yeah. Sorry, we plugged. Um, our plug YouTube away. channel at our, what is it? Forgot our name. <laughs> it's, well, no, we, you remember everything. We'll get you the link. We'll put the link in there. Don't our, worry. Our diary okay. of three. Sorry. Yes. Who there, there it is, there it is, there it is. One, two, three. Um, I, we went to a party. She left alone. I left alone. I got very drunk. She said, leave me alone. I said, no. <laughs> I, I got really drunk too. Took a taxi to her house. Wait. With one shoe. With, With one shoe. Wait, I, you mean a taxi? Taxi. I didn't have my phone. I only had cash. I didn't have cash actually. I told this taxi guy, take me here. I'll pay you when I get there. Told him the whole story in the taxi. It was one of those movie moments yeah, where it's he's like, movie. I'll get you there. Don't worry about, you know, blah, blah. We're in this together now, buddy. Yeah. And he waited outside just in case things went bad. I went up there and he I told her like- He showed I, up with like, I he bought, her. he had enough money somehow to buy <laughs> socks at a CVS. Ralph's. Because he, Ralph's. And I he used showed their up phone with like 10 layers of socks because he didn't have shoes. So he was like walking. Because I, I walked from West Hollywood to Sherman Oaks. Yeah. There, someone out there right now is like hoping that their boyfriend just like picks a towel up. Yeah. And they're, they're hearing how you put on extra pairs of socks to because walk. you didn't have shoes. Miles. So that you could walk. Yeah. And, and like miles. someone just got in trouble for hearing sure. that story. So for sure. I, well, I don't know, I don't you guys know, know where this man went now because he in the, these days is not <laughs> going to do I still have the socks on. <laughs> well, he locked it down. He locked, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He locked yeah. it down. In the yeah. most permanent way oven. possible. <laughs> yes. So yeah, I walked, I don't know if you guys know, you probably do. I walked from um, the Grove mm -hmm. up to La Brea. Oh my God. Up to our... Yeah, like Hollywood area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like a solid, like probably Ralph's. like four miles. It was a, it was a long walk. Yeah. What, what time long. was this? What, like, why did you have to, to walk? It was after, it was after midnight. Okay, all right. And I was drunk. I had no phone, like no wallet. Okay, well, I want to preface this by saying that you guys had already been on a few dates before. Like this yeah. wasn't yeah. like the first night that you had no. ever met. You'd been on dates, had in, established that you, you liked yeah. each other. Yeah. We had in gone on video, a trip to New York together. We had kind of just like, we were at that point where it was like basically a, we were so close to deciding like, should we date or should we not? But like, we also both knew we were going out of the country for That's a few months. That's what I was gonna say. I was, I was oh. leaving to Finland for like two and a half months. And oh. I was leaving to Europe for two months. Oh my God. So we were gonna miss each other too. So well, those gonna... places are pretty close to each other. Yeah, that's actually well, not super far. But I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't want us to leave and like two and a half months go by and then yeah. everything fizzled out. I knew I, I was enamored with her. So I was like, I have to get it in. Oh, not get it in, but I have to like, <laughs> I have to 
I have to tell her how I feel get right it. now. <laughs> Not get it in. I have to like get it out, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to sure. spit it out. Both, both. Yeah. Both. yeah. Um, you have to profess your love. Yeah. So it wasn't super like um, lovey dovey. I wasn't like, I got on one knee and I begged yeah. her. I, go, I was drunk and I told her I loved her. And I told him I loved him too. And then he was like, I just don't. I think you started dating that. that well, night. yeah. He basically was like, I just don't. I just don't want to see you with anyone else. Like it makes me sick to my stomach. And I was like, then don't. And so he's she's like, like, then why aren't we dating? Or why aren't yeah, you my boyfriend? Yeah, I was boyfriend? like, why aren't you my boyfriend, girlfriend? Then he goes, well. I was like, you don't be my girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It was, actually, yeah. the age of like 20, asking someone to be your girlfriend feels weird, but it's like, it's do, so it, do, weird. are we uh, doing that thing now? Or Yeah. Or? It's so weird because yeah. I do feel like a lot of times, like people don't really ask anymore. Mm. It kind of just happens. Well, like everyone's like, what's, like, when did you guys start dating? Well, we started hooking up at this point. Yeah, it's yeah, around it's, Super it's Bowl more time. Like, or, it's more yeah. like, yeah. Okay, yeah. when New are you going to stop like texting other people on your own? Well, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, somewhat on topic of that, since you have a, a child on the way. Yeah. Do you know um, when it happened? Yes. Yes. The, con the conceivement? Like, the yeah. Conceiving. yeah, the conceivement. We do know. I don't know. Just like, <laughs> it's like. I've always wondered that. Like, do you, do you know? Well, yes, because, you know. Roughly. Roughly, yeah. Like, I mean. You can count back the weeks as well, too, to like. You right. can, For sure. You yeah. can and that's count what we did. We backtracked. Yeah. And like, the, we have an app where it kind of like gives you a rough estimate of like mm -hmm. when right. it happened. And like. We don't know exactly what day specifically, but it was either one or two days. So it was like, and it was our trip to Hawaii. So we were that kind of like, time. yeah. We, we took were a like, little trip. Yeah. And we just really had a great time. It's super, <laughs> super weird. We have, she introduced me to this guy named Justin. I don't know if you guys know him. His name's Justin, not the tattoo artist. What? Is there, um, is there Justin? Just Justin? Justin? Justin Burbage. He's this guy. He's Burbage. like- Burbage. Got it. He, um, yeah. She remembers everything. Really, like he he's uh, he lives in Hawaii. He also used to live in LA. He, it's so funny because he used to be like, back in the day, like one of those Pinterest boys. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I missed that like part a, of Like internet. a Tumblr, like a Tumblr boy. Right. Yeah, Tumblr I, travel boy. Like, you know, those, you know, don't know what that, you know yeah. sorry, like Tumblr guys. Yeah, like, you know, like the, back in the day with Jay Alvarez, like that was his yeah. best friend. Like yeah. they would just take like, pictures on the sand with like, you know, the cool eyes. Cause mm -hmm. he has like these really bright, blue, the, yeah, whatever, the you know what I'm saying? Right, like stuff. the cool yeah. looking photos. Um, and now he's also a dad and he had, and his wife had had a baby and mm. Justin's been my friend for a long time. And I was telling Keen, I was like, cause we wanted a relaxing trip. We didn't want any plans. We were just like, let's hang by the pool. Let's hang by the mm. beach. Let's just like relax. But I was like, the one thing is I really want to go see my friend. He just had a new baby. Like, let's just like go. And he's like, all right, like we'll go this morning and we'll just like drive down and go see him. Um, so you could finish your story. I was talking. wondering, I was wondering when you were going to pass it back over. I'm passing it. I was like, so we met this guy, Justin. She's like, oh my God, Justin, be a little shit, shit, shit. And we went this morning. It was I like know, a Tuesday. I'm sorry. No, no, I will, I will say, I love it. I'll, I'll no, take too Ayla, much to say over amazing. nothing to say. Yeah. Yeah. You need it. You, 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 you like, ramped me. Like I'm, I'm about to go I, yeah, off the ramp. That was great. I love you as well. Yeah. Yeah. This is Ken from Nebraska. And yeah. She does, yeah. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, we met this guy. I Like I had met him once. Was that the first time I met him? Yeah. First time I met him. Um, we go to his house, beautiful house. He like taught me how to um, crack open a coconut and gave me like, well, just this, you know, crazy backstory of like the first time meeting him. We end up like meeting his wife now. Yeah. Or fiance. No, oh, she's his wife. And it was a super, super, super wholesome moment. And like right before we left, she was like, rub my belly for good luck. And we're like, <gasps> okay. Yeah, Let's do it. so she's just, oh my God, the baby that they have is literally the like cutest. a Gerber baby. Absolute cutest. So we rub her, or Ayla rubs her stomach we. for good luck. <laughs> and we leave and we're like, okay, like that was super sweet, but like yeah. didn't think anything of it. A um, couple weeks later, you I'm know. You know, Ava's reproduction <laughs> system's going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good run, well, do this thing. Do you know what's crazy is so like when you are, like let's say you're in that phase where you're ovulating and all that stuff. If you are next to a pregnant woman a lot, you kind of gain some of their- Lauren? Yeah. Go farther Horrible. away. <laughs> yeah. Like, Back it up. I'm not kidding. Podcast done. I am not kidding. It really happens. Like if you're hanging out, Around. No, I believe that because like the way that my period would get in sync with my other three yes, roommates when I was in college, I, I well, believe it's the same thing. It really yeah. does. Every like dream. Cycle yeah. sisters. Yes. Cycle sisters. Mm. Cycle I've never heard sisters. that. That's funny. Yeah. Pinterest boys, <laughs> cycle sisters. Pinterest Got boys. Yep. So, yeah. That's she, what you want. She asked me a couple like months ago, I feel like um, she was like, oh, we should look for Pinterest. We should look for stuff on Pinterest. And I was like, I was like, okay. And she's like, yeah, can you sign in? Or like, you don't have a Pinterest account? And I was like, Ayla, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, well, I, I, I thought 
everyone looks What's on your Pinterest. Pinterest? Uh, I have been on Pinterest.com maybe twice in my life before. Yes, I've seen Pinterest. She's like, you don't have an account? Like, absolutely not. Well, what Jeremy it, made a Pinterest account do? for our, our his proposal. I did. Oh, my See, God. And now I'm going to make one for our baby. Like, I'm going to get we into it. We are going to make one for sense. our baby's yeah. room. Because Pinterest didn't, there wasn't a reason for you to have absolutely it Absolutely not. Right. Yeah, she's like, you don't have one? I was like, no, what? What do, what do you do? Do you have Pinterest buddies? Like, Actually, no. I don't know how that works. Is it like Tumblr? Kind of? No, less interactive than Tumblr. Cause Tumblr, I feel like you, it was like more text-based stuff and you could like yeah. ask questions and like chat with people. But I, See, like, I never had Tumblr, so I don't know that really? like, yeah. Tumblr? We're all on very different pages. I, know. Well, like I feel like I'm super... bridging, I feel like I'm bridging the gap here. Lauren yes. really liked Tumblr for a few reasons. I loved Tumblr. Any, I feel like- Any specific gifts you want to call out? Oh man, when- Were you a Tumblr girl? Like, were you all over Tumblr? No, 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 no. Because no. I wasn't like internet. I was a Tumblr user, but oh, I wasn't okay, like a okay. Tumblr like creator. Because oh, like, yeah. you were like a Tumblr boy, right? So now I'm I'm going into Pinterest because uh, we need ideas for like the baby room and stuff. Right. Yeah. And I think I'm gonna have to make an account. Pinterest is the shit. I love it. I, when I was really love planning it. Planning the proposal, like, it was very helpful. Yeah. It was so yeah. visual. Because I was like, oh, okay, for I want sure. roses. I want this type of background. I want this type of ring. And like, yeah. kind of just seen it. I'm not someone who visualizes things well without it just being there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I got to see it all together. How long did it take you to plan that? Forever. No, really? I, like right, six weeks. <clears throat> Did you already have the ring like, a, a, like, or you got it pretty much right before? Yeah, what'd you plan around? <sighs> the, I mean, the, the ring was a sticking point since of like, I was looking for a very specific rock mm -hmm. yeah. and like, I couldn't, I couldn't find. It. Yeah. yeah. I was just sitting there going through these inventories. Like, nope, 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 nope. And when I finally found it, it was like, okay, when can you actually have it here? Yeah. yeah. And it, it all worked out, but there wasn't a ton of wiggle room there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I see. Yeah. Were you like dying the day before? Were you like so nervous? No. Jeremy's never like, been nervous in his entire life. Really? No. Jeremy has never felt anxiety or nerves ever. It's so wild. I have enough to bridge to, like, to make I'm it up. I'm nervous yeah, to eat Ian is nervous all the time. I wake up anxious. Have you yeah. always been nervous? I, I, I used to like get really <laughs> excited. Like my nerves would turn to excitement, but ever since I've started getting older, I feel like now I get nervous just turn over- into anxiety. <laughs> my nerves are like a lot worse now. Yeah. yeah. I have to get my wisdom teeth out in a month. <gasps> By the way, I have to go under. That's like a thing that usually you do like at 14. I, I know. don't know why I didn't do it. Too I busy asked, on Tumblr. I, yeah, I was all over Tumblr and, and YouTube. I was getting reblogs. I didn't have time for dental. Yeah, <laughs> de <laughs> dentist, are you kidding me? Uh, no, I have to get that out and I'm freaking out. I've looked up YouTube videos on like how they drill. And like, only oh. Oh. No, no, Kia, don't look at that. I, I have to. No. no, I have to. No, no, I don't no. know why. It's kind of, it's I, I like, have a dentist appointment in a couple of weeks and same thing. Like I wake up every day being like, oh, fuck, how many more days until it goes? I, I I'm yeah. a month away and I'm literally counting the days. But do you know if they're impacted or not? He said they were close to a root, so he's going to have to send it to a specialist. And I was like, don't fucking tell me All four? That. All four. Oh, shit. That's like the thing like the contractor does when like they get in, like they open the wall and they go, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's worse well, than see, that. Which, you got, yeah, yeah. See this right oh. here. See what we had discussed was this. Yeah. Right. This. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I know I have to get it done, but I just do not like going under. Yeah. I just have a weird yeah. feeling that I'm not going to wake up or it's like the feeling of being alive and awake and then they put something in you and you're like, mm. It's so crazy how fast times go though. I did. Yeah, that's what I was telling him. I was like, it's just gonna drilling. go by so fast. You wake up like know. literally a second later and it's like, oh, four hours has passed. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't wake up and you're like, oh, I'm ready for uh, I'm ready for a margarita. You wake up and you're like, eh. Um, and then Ayla's gonna make incredible content yeah, for the for the family vlog channel, oh. and it's gonna be so good for the internet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If, if you've got any questions like in, in the bank that you're waiting, wait to ask him right when he wakes up. Can, right. babe. Hey. Right. Yeah. Uh, Can I things. see your quick signature on yeah. this? Right. Right. Yeah. Get your signature. Yeah. 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 I know. Have, have you had your was no? You have not. No, I need to get mine out too. Both of you? Really? We're yeah. really bad. But have I can't do. I can't do anything while pregnant. Really? No, me either. No. But this this tooth is fake. And to make room for this one tooth that I didn't have, they had to take a ton of shit out. You didn't have a oh. tooth? This tooth? Never, never got it. We also Whoa. just realized that in black light, a fake tooth okay. doesn't glow the same way that real teeth does. And so when you shine a black light on Jerry, or if you go to like glow in the dark mini putt, one tooth is just like <clears> black. It's crazy. I hate Whoa. it. I can't look at well, it. Well, we're not going to that. I know. My whole front is just going to be like. I know. Wait, the fake ones glow? Uh, glow? Like fake videos, ones yeah. don't glow. Don't fake glow. Ones yeah. don't so if glow. I smile in a black light, my Front four are fake. It's gonna look like Wait, I. Your front four are fake. Yeah, front four. What happened? 
I just wanted to. My, oh, just, yeah. Yeah, my front teeth were like, I would always call them boulders. They were like super round. Yep. And then my oh. canines are like, <laughs> yeah. so I just, I, I hated I loved it. them. They were so cute. And they were like sideways. They look like teeth, but it like but italicized. Things yeah, that yeah, guys yeah. don't want to hear. <laughs> oh, no, no, babe, your teeth are cute. No. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I love them. They're so cute. <laughs> no, they're, yeah. that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> that's worse now. <laughs> That's was, okay though. That's I, okay. I thought you were gonna say like you like fell and just like lost all of them one right, day. Right, like like I hockey players I, lose gonna, all their front teeth. I'm gonna start saying that. Okay, that you didn't just get it for like but, looks. You're no, like, I oh, yeah, I was a, a well, hockey player. Speaking of, yeah. you gotta get your stories like like your if you the the story that you want to go with once the kids out in the world. If you want to like get that lie kind of like percolating, going, yeah, you, you have, to. have to start getting yeah. the narrative going now. Yeah, it's kind of like, like that, you, uh, you never drank before. Like the private You're 21. School. You have to get right. started early. Yeah. 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 I think about that. that all the time. I'm like, well, how am I going to treat my kid? Am I just going to be like so honest about things? Or am I well, going to kind of like, because I grew up with my mom and dad scaring me forever. Oh, yeah. oh okay. They were like, and, and some of what they said was true. They would always be like, you're way smaller than everyone in your school. So if you drink, you're gonna get so drunk. Right. And if you do that drugs- That is true. Like like two right. shots in your body versus two shots in Jeremy's body is like is a way world different. of difference. So yeah. like realistically, it was true, but they also just like tried to scare me so much into never trying anything. Right. And like, I, I turned out in high school to like, you know, yeah, I did drink in high school, but like little bits. I never got too drunk. Mm. I- really was like such a good girl in school. Yes, yeah, So like, I don't know if it's like, <laughs> I don't want that tactic to like, I don't want to scare my kid, but I also just want to, and the one thing I do want to make sure is like, I don't ever, ever want him or our future children to be scared to call me. If you're mm. in trouble, you yeah. call me. I'm yeah. not going to get mad. We'll talk about it later, mm -hmm. but like, call me wherever you are. I will come. If you're literally three hours away, yeah. I will drive to you. I don't care, but just don't, Get in the car with someone else. Don't think you mm -hmm. can just like hide with another friend. Like call kids that us. have like overprotective parents are the ones that learn how to lie and sneak that's, around. That's oh, what yeah. I'm scared yeah. of, and I don't want my kid to lie. Really? Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I, don't I, don't I, told my, I don't think I told my mom the truth for like a six year period there. So you kind of you um what is it called? Like rebelled? Yes. Like I yes. See. Everything. Uh, every day. I was somewhere in the middle. I yeah. get, drinking in high school and when I was in high school. If I even thought about drinking, I feel like I would have thought I was drunk. You know what <laughs> well, I mean? You, did, you, you didn't like, do it. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you've had anxiety for a while. Though. I have. Yeah. Yeah. It started in high school, yeah. but yeah, I didn't drink until I was 21. What? Yeah. Legit. I did not what? drink until I was 21. Wow. I felt like I- He doesn't do drugs. On. He doesn't is do anything. The, is this the story we're going with for the kiddo? No, or? this is like, real. I tasted alcohol. I remember like grabbing a beer for my mom, like on a lake in Iowa. Yeah. Oh, right. I stole it so I could feel cool and I tasted it. I'm like, what? No. But drinking my first like time in a club, my first time like drinking when I was, I was 21. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's a late start. Cause I felt like I was old enough. Like I was like, okay, I can't get in trouble. Like I can tell people I'm 21, I can show them ID. Like I'm gonna start. And I started and never what looked back. What year did you start YouTube? 2010. 2010. So 2010. Then, how old were you then? Yeah, how, how old were you then? 14. I think we started in June, so I wasn't 15 yet. Wait, so you were <clears throat> doing the internet things for six years before you started drinking? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I was I, I didn't he's go to parties. He's a really good boy. I went he's to not, I went to he's VidCon. He's not a bad boy at all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I always tried to like kind of pull it out of him too. I'm like, you've never tried drugs, like basically back in the day or whatever. And Zero. he's like, no. Like one time he, I think he's act, like smoked his dad's or mom's or whatever, <gasps> like sisters. I don't know who it was. Dad, weed. allegedly. It yeah. was like a weed thing. Yeah. And he tried it and I think he, you I panicked just, for like days or something. You were like, I'm yeah. dying. I don't think you're cut out for drugs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I, yeah. I'm it, too is scared. It because to of, so go ahead, go ahead. I'm too scared to take two Advils. Also, yeah. I'll take one. Yeah. He's, not swear to God, He's not kidding. He's not kidding. I swear to God, I took I took two melatonins one day, and I think I had I had taken something else before. Get, maybe like get out of town. Two yeah. melatonins. Get out of get, town. That's took, an OD. Yeah. Well, yeah, I took two melatonins, and I've taken two melatonins for a long time. Well, we got the, we got the title for this video. Yeah, yeah, drugs. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then one day I took something else. Like I had to have taken like a. I taken something else like an Advil or a Tylenol, mm -hmm. and then I took two melatonins after. Oh no, Zyrtec! I took <laughs> oh. a Zyrtec, and then I took my two melatonins. Oh, man, the Zyrtec story. 
it made me feel weird. So I was like, I can't take two two melatonin. Like anymore. I'm never taking Zyrtec again. I was like, Kian, I have decreased I'm to one and melatonin I'm Zyrtec now. every day. I, it's I fine. think we might be dating the same person. Jeremy has a story here. Yeah, really? <laughs> because when I first got Lauren, she would just like sniffle and just like, <laughs> I'm like, take an allergy pill. I don't yeah. want to hear yeah, no. your nose. I get all anxious day. though about people who say they get allergy pill dependent though. Like, can people get addicted to allergy pills? <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm dependent on Zyrtec, and it works fine. Whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. We're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs, and as leaders in their fields, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get the piece that you've always wanted and leave it up to the meticulous eye of an eBay authenticator to make sure that the watch movement is original, that glimmer is real gold, that rare sneaker is legit, or that handbag is really made of genuine leather. And never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get real with eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. While the weather in LA may not be proof of this, summer is here, people. Literally, June Gloom is in full effect. We had May Gray and June Gloom. And so, like, summer is supposed to be here, but I don't know. It's a little sus. From sizzling barbecues to cool, refreshing salads, some of these favorite foods, some of my favorite foods truly come to life during these warm months. And in my kitchen, my trusty Caraway cookware set plays a starring role. Made with non-toxic, chemical-free materials, this cookware ensures that I can indulge in my summer culinary adventures without a worry. I just did a cookware purge and replaced literally everything. I just did like a, an organizational vlog with it. Replaced it all with caraway. Summer screams shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos! Y uh, yes, uh, <laughs> no, that was summer that was screaming, not you. Shrimp tacos! Okay, sure. It's one of my favorite foods to eat in the summer. All you have to do is add chili powder and lime and toss them in the caraway saute pan. The best part about the whole process is the cleanup, or rather the lack thereof. With Caraway's non-stick surface, it's like having a pan that washes itself. It's less of a cleanup, more of a magic trick. My favorite thing about the Caraway cookware, and this should come as a surprise to literally no one, is the different color options they have. They make the whole kitchen look so aesthetically pleasing. I just got a whole set in the white and I am obsessed. It almost makes me want to cook even more just because everything looks so cute. You know how annoying it is when you try to get a pan out of the cabinet and five others fall from behind it? Well, that's not a problem with Caraway. All sets come equipped with a complimentary easy access storage solution to keep the kitchen tidy. Don't miss Caraway's summer refresh event from June 20th to July 15th. For a limited time, get 10% off site-wide on the internet's favorite kitchenware. It's the perfect time to take care of your summer gifting, ideal for both graduates and newlyweds. With cookware, bakeware, food storage, and tea kettles to choose from, there's something for everyone. Visit carewayhome.com slash wild to get 10% off during their summer refresh event. Certain exclusions apply. That's carewayhome.com slash wild or use code wild at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. Okay, no, but I, I so relate to this. Fine, like, I if gave you one Zyrtec one time and I'm not kidding. <laughs> Lauren, could not get off the couch for the rest of the day. Really? I was convinced that it out knocked of, me out. out yeah. just, I was like, I, I'm so groggy. I feel so lethargic. <laughs> I'm like, I'm groggy. You need I to rub think, my head too. I don't think rub it'd be back. safe oh. for me to operate heavy machinery right now. Yeah, I can't like, drive that bobcat. But I'm like, babe, Good. it's just dessert tech. Yeah. It, you're fine. I, I take one every day, no, but that, the first one that I ever took, like I get so scared to take a new medication. If I get, so if I get like prescribed something, I'll just yeah. take half first. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. To see, to make sure that like, I'm not going to die. Yeah. Thank Always, you. I am oh right there with you. Oh my but God. it's funny because when it comes to me, Kian's like, did you take your medication? And I'm like, yeah. And he's <laughs> like, did you actually take it this morning though? And I'm like, <laughs> uh, okay, Mr. Doesn't take anything ever. But like when it comes yeah. to what I have to take, he's I like, can't. make sure you take that. And I'm like. <laughs> well, cause it's for your safety. <laughs> oh, thank you. For me, yeah. My, uh, I took a Claritin after I took a Zyrtec, like never recovered. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't do. I swear to God, I, halluc I hallucinated. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's a common side effect. Yeah, they, I really they think talk about it. I think back it's on your head. I swear, I swear it's in his head. Oh my God, I'm okay, getting so hot talking about it. Ian, you definitely should never do drugs. No, I've never done a drug. So I've no, me too. I'm too nervous. I've smoked weed. Yeah, and I've like I I drink. Uh, I've smoked <laughs> weed, 
That's it. I've never done anything. I outside actually of that. believe you. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, dude. I think I would. I think I would die. I you, feel the you, exact same way. I would. You wouldn't die, but it would be I very would. difficult to get you to remember that you're. You would the whole time you'd be saying, "I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die," and it would, it'd be something where I'd have to like. Oh God, I don't know how I would yeah, get you to not. Do it. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I feel like I'm on drugs right now. Is there drugs in my water? No. No, it's that Claritin you took a couple years ago. You know, it'll flare up. Oh my God, I'm having to flare up weeks later. <laughs> oh my God. It's hot. Even when I take a new probiotic or anything, same thing, I'll like try, like the minimum amount, if yeah. I can like cut it up or like take half or whatever, I, I always do it just to make sure I'm not going to die. It's yeah. going to get to the point where I'm going to have to, I'm just going to sniff an Advil and I'm like, okay, that's enough. I'm going to cut it and just sniff it. And I'm like, whew, that's enough. Or we're going to have a baby and it's going to be the opposite. You're like, give me 10. You're like, I need 10 Advil. Yeah. I can't. Well, the normal Advil is 200 milligrams of acetaminophen or acetaminophen. That's, that's, that's Tylenol. Uh, ibuprofen. Oh, ibuprofen. 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 Um, it's 200 milligrams. So 400 is like the recommended. <laughs> I do one pill. <laughs> I'm going to start splitting that thing in half. You need kids <laughs> sizes. Yeah. Okay, what is that, should. like 50 milligrams? Yeah, probably yeah. like 50. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably take one of those too. I don't know. I just can't do it. I don't like drugs. That's healthy of you. At anyway. least you know, like nothing will ever happen. I'll never like yeah. nothing will ever happen like that unless I get drugged. I would be. God, so that would be sad. unbearable for you. That would be I would awful feel for you. So sad. Yeah. yeah, that would be for awful. him. I would for him, yeah. To do. You would never recover from well, that. Hopefully, it's like yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah. want to say anything about it. But okay, I'm curious. Who, do you, who, which one of you thinks you're going to be the fun parent? Oh, he's for sure going to be the fun yeah. one. Yeah, I'm going to be the one that like she takes our kids. Too much. Oh, okay. I. <laughs> I think that I'm going to be the one that's like, let's do something fun. Let's like go on an adventure. Mm-hmm. Let's go so, like, to I the library love- or something. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? No, I love doing activities. Like I want to go out and do stuff all the time. He loves sitting at home. Like we're mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. opposite mm-hmm. on that. My guy. Um, no, no, my guy. We don't like that. No, we, we, yeah, we, we are don't guys, like though. that. Yeah, no, no, not my guy. It's boring stuff. Doing doing things. Boring. Yeah, we love doing yeah. things outside. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I think I'll be the more like fun adventure one, but he's gonna be like the funny one. Like mm. yeah. he's gonna make yeah, the jokes. He's gonna do like the voiceover stuff. He's gonna be like the acting like crazy and making the kid laugh the all silly the time. Parent. Yeah. Right. And then I'm gonna be the one who's like. All right, you <sighs> gotta time finish. For bed. You got you he, like. I'm Snack like, time. he has to finish his dinner Routine. before, and you yeah. keep taking him into the other room to yeah, play. Yeah, just gets to come in, like just like say three things, be the hero, and then walk out of the I room. I think that's right. just like ninety percent of like dads yeah. are. Yeah. My dad was the same way. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> was your dad? Yeah. My dad was always really. Yeah, my dad was always really funny, but my dad like was also the one that if you got in trouble. And then you had to talk to my dad after Ooh, you scary. were scared. What are some of the traits of each of you that you hope the baby has? Ooh, my everything. What about you? <laughs> um, okay, why don't you say physical? what you hope it has of me, and I'll say what I hope it has of you. Great idea. Ooh, we could tell you guys a little, a little. Uh, I don't think we told anyone other than like our friends, but we we recently went to a doctor, and they got to we got to measure like the cerebral cortex, the Whoa. the you know the palate, the foots, everything. We right. measured everything. Mm-hmm. Can I say this? I don't know what you're going to say. The femur? We, but, well, we, but, oh, but I mean. We, we have full control over it. So you, whatever you, you, okay. you want to say, yeah. Like say whatever you it's want. Not, and no, it's not bad it. at all. No, it, it's cool. I just didn't know if you wanted me to tell. Oh, I don't care. It's 50-50. It's okay. Okay. So <laughs> I was always hoping it was a boy. Boom. It's a boy. Yeah. Okay. Let's, hopefully it's tall. We went to a doctor and he's like, you could tell by the femur <gasps> that at this age. Um, he's a little behind. <gasps> and you spoil it. Oh I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. So it made the doctor say, oh, baby's going to be Petite. M- more your size and pointed at Ayla. Oh. And I was like, let's go. <laughs> I want, I want a tall, I want a tall boy. So how tall are you? Yeah, Ken, how tall are you? Six foot, six foot one. And how tall Ayla? are you? 4'11". And he pointed at her and I was like, can okay. we do a, can do you we know what percentile like you're, here's, you are? Here's the thing. So Zero? the guy told us, yeah. he was like, listen, this is your 20 week. A lot could change when you get to 30 yeah. weeks. Okay. Like you could come back and we could see a whole big difference. He's like, right now your baby's going to be petite. He's like, but like, also he asked Keen, he's like, did you ever have like a growth spurt or anything? Yeah. Like, mm. and Kean forgets to say this, but like. Late bloomer, right? Kian was the oh latest my, bloomer. Yeah. He was yeah. the smallest boy Bad. in his class for okay. forever. And then high school, I think it was what you said, sophomore year, you just shut like, up. Like, yeah, I was under five foot all, like, I think until ninth grade. I was so under yeah, five feet. So yeah, I feel wow. like I we have hope. 
<laughs> you know what? <laughs> Justice for the short kings. Yeah, sure. Justice yeah, I mean, for the yes. short kings. Regardless, my exactly. short king is going to yeah. be my son. And I love it. But we are we're we're happy regardless. When when you have a baby, <laughs> you kind of dream of all these little things. Like yeah, I want totally. I want two boys. I want one yes, girl. I want I my girl to have blonde hair, blue. It's like what what you whatever you think. Right. And then when it's just a little different, you're like oh. Oh, um, I hope I hope he grows. I just hope I he just grows think a it's lot. funny because I'm like, what Eating if we have vegetables. a boy and the boy's my height and then we have the girl and the girl's and the girl's height. like yeah. yeah, six foot tall. Yeah, full like, basketball, what like volleyball player. Do you want more kids? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <gasps> How what was you, the what, what's the what's the idea? Well, I don't know because we only we're halfway through one, mm -hmm. so I guess I'm so like into this one. Like, I'm so like my brain yeah. is just wrapped around this one that like the second one isn't even on my mind yet. Yeah. I just want this yeah. one. Yeah. I want to be able to hold this one and like be with it for as long as possible. I and also then, am always the one in our eventually. relationship who's like constantly thinking of the future. Mm -hmm. We've actually gone to therapy about it because I, <laughs> I overthink. Yeah, we have our uh, we have our caskets planned. We yeah, have our, I, I, we have the cemetery plots. Above, above, above ground, below ground, ground, what are we doing? Nothing temporary. I hate the okay. temporary yeah, look, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. So in, in the, the, the crypt, crypt, what? Is that what that's called? Huh? Is, <laughs> in a cemetery, in a cemetery, those oh, like sorry. big, those big buildings? Though that, oh no! no. Like the, 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 That's like the above yeah. ground thing. Yeah, I don't no, know what don't those know. are called, but I know oh. I want one of those. Oh. We're gonna have to rethink. That's yeah. super permanent. Well, yeah. You guys want to go in on one? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it together. Yeah. That'd be so cute. <laughs> have a party in there. Yeah. I mean, we could like to like get like a, a like a few inches in LA or like an acre in Nebraska. Yeah. Absolutely, we yeah. can own Nebraska. We could yeah. say wild till two thousand whenever we die. And okay, then you've already planned that though. Right, I'm planning it currently. I mean, it kind of sounds scary. I feel like we're gonna have like the last batch of kids that it's not completely acceptable for like CRISPR just to kind of go in and just ah, we'll do this. We'll have one of these. We'll have three of those. For sure. Oh yeah, yeah I already know someone who just chose. They chose their gender. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's become yeah. such a thing. That like, scares can, me. That's yeah. very scary. I feel that like things me. can go wrong. Yeah, it's know. not natural. I feel like it's, it's still so pretty. It's still pretty new. Yeah, right. So there's start, a like, lot trying to make things happen. Yeah, like things. That's where things can go wrong because it's not natural. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just because Scary. like there's so much happening in the way of like evolution in terms of the science for same sex same sex couples for who sure. are having kids. Yeah, and so now they're like pulling lots of new features and stuff. It's crazy. And yeah, are, it's are, a very scary world to think that you can pick their eye color or like yeah. pick their height like or the pick, Sims. Yeah, right. Yes, new software update. Pick, 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 your, literally pick your child. A human software. Choose updates. your character. Yeah, <laughs> it's so yeah. weird. Okay, are, are you guys obviously? You know, you did the, you, hearing you guys talk about how excited you are for a child makes me makes me realize just how far away I am from feeling. No, how you literally, feel. we're really? so yeah. far from like really yeah. child planning. Well, I'm, is it is it like a both? Like you both agree on like yeah. we need yeah. okay, that's perfect. Yeah. It's not like no, a no, one sided. We're, we're both totally on the same page. It's like we both were only children, yeah. so we both oh, like wow. are okay. so okay. set on like just wanting one, and we're also well, feel like gets twins. Yeah, imagine. Then, no, I, oh, I have a twin gene in my family, and so it's something that we really do have to think about. Like. Sure. I have to go back and like track the genetics. I think it's from the maternal mother, like my mom's All I'm knowing death. is after anyway. you've been here, we're not having sex for another month, okay? <gasps> no! Yeah. Get started, yeah. come on. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Wait. Your energy is giving off pregnancy vibes right now. No. It's the last thing I need. Do oh you, my God. Do you know if it's like a not right now, maybe five years or not right now, just like whenever it happens in the future? No, no, we're like not right now, for sure not right now, like You're not happening years. now. Yeah. yeah. Five years, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And so like, it's no planning. It's not like in five years we'll be ready. It's just like it, when we think about it, when we think yeah, we're ready, yeah, if it's yeah. five years. Okay. I feel like we're like yeah. in wedding mode right now. For sure. You so, have so much to think about. That, Absolutely. That's like the, the, the far out thing. It's not that all that far out. Yeah. I think that's the thing. We're like the opposite on that. Like when people talk to us about wedding, we're, so we're like, what? Yeah, but yeah. there's a world where you save a bunch of money by <laughs> not blowing a bunch yeah. on a wedding. Seriously. Yeah. We're kind of like- You're in kid mode. You we're know, blowing a bunch we on these diapers married? though. married? We're like- I don't know. Like we're just having a baby. Like let's yeah. just leave it yeah. at that. One thing at a time. Right. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's why. Yeah. For you. <laughs> Did you guys Me. always like? Have you always envisioned yourself as parents? Like, is that like something that's always been a big dream for both of you? I, I've always envisioned myself being a mom, and I feel like I'm also one of those people that like when I start dating someone, like especially with Kean, because I just instantly was infatuated by him. I was like, I got to get all the questions out now. So I like asked him in the beginning, like, do you want a family? Like, what mm -hmm. do you think about marriage? Like, what do you think about all these things? And we were pretty much on the same page about all of it. Like I, at the time was like, yeah, I want to travel. I want to do all this stuff. But like, I for sure see myself as like a mom. And he was like, oh, I for sure want to be a dad. Um, probably not <laughs> right now. Date again? <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, even when I asked him about marriage and he was, we were both like, he's like, do you believe in marriage? And I was like, I mean, yeah, but I don't think I want to get married. And he's like, oh really? Yeah. Same. Me neither. 
And he's like, that's so crazy that you said that. And I remember you even told me, you're like, it's kind of funny that we agreed on that. You're like, it still didn't make me feel good that you said yeah. you didn't want to get married, <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> even <laughs> though I feel the same way. It was a little too fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was kind of weird to hear. So like, then I felt her like pain, I guess, when I was like, I just don't really like want to get married. It's not really on my like, it's not, it's not on my future plans. And she was like, oh. Yeah, me either. And I was like, wait, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah, it's and it's not like I don't want to marry Kian. We just don't. I don't know. And we we talk about it like we might do it down It'll the change. line. Yeah. yeah, like yeah. if we It'll decide change. one day we want to get married, we might even just go to a courthouse and elope. Like yeah. we don't, we're not going to do like a, a huge thing because it's just not us. But um, I'll tell you that it is so much work and it is an always yeah. on like part time job that you're just thinking about for an entire year. Like now that like we're really in like <clears throat> like the the meat of it right now. Yeah. The amount of decisions that you're making on a daily basis and like planning, even like having a full planner, which we have, which it, she, she's been so incredible. But like, yeah. wait, you guys haven't had your actual wedding yet, right? No, no, it's in it's in next spring. But like even uh, now, get your Whoa. suit ready because I guess we're going. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, oh my god, I can't I wait. Can't wait. What's the day? <laughs> I was getting so many questions about marriage because that's that seems so like uh, is that scary forward. for you guys? Well, are are, no. are are you guys married right now? No. no. Okay, so even when you do the ceremony, that's not like okay, we're married now. Don't you have to like sign papers? Like when yeah. is this? When is the point that you guys are married? When you say I do, or when you sign like the paper? Papers. Really? Legally, papers. it's papers. Yeah. So it's yeah. like I see. Did, did, but so like, you're already married it, when they say, well, not say always. I do. Not always. It depends. Okay, so it can happen Usually like, at, yeah. and like your planner takes care of that a lot of times, but like so at some point so for a lot of people who do the actual signing portion at their wedding, they'll be like, you know, it takes two seconds to sign something. Yeah. So they'll, they'll work it into your schedule for the day That's of cool. timeline. Well, also if you like get married out of the country, you would then have to get married in this country as well. Mm, right. Sign so papers, like, marriage, or like you have to do a like ceremony. ceremony, right? right? It's like if you got married in Whoa. Mexico, right? You'd still have to then like come back to California and register mm -hmm. and wow. actually get married. And have your witnesses yeah. and stuff. I just have a question for you guys because I feel like- you get one question, that's it. <laughs> I already used mine. Yeah. Okay. Well, my question is because, you know, I feel like, and this is probably gonna sound a little, I don't know how it's gonna sound, but to me, it's not like, like yeah, I want to be with Kian, like for the rest of my life, hopefully, you know, like we all hope that things go well. Mm -hmm. And- um, Kian, do you hope things go well? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I think I know where you're going with this. But like- I'm so but curious. This, but, but when I think about getting married mm -hmm. and I think about signing a paper and I think about like being, like, <laughs> legally being with you forever. <laughs> then it's scary. It's then like, you're like, It's oh. like pressure. I'm like, what the heck? Pressure. It's just like, I don't want it to ruin our relationship. I don't want the pressure of- us like being like, we have to like be together forced. yeah, forever. You know, and it's not like, and I feel like you and I have the same mindset. You got so, a tight grip. I'm sorry, I got a little <laughs> nervous. Um, <sighs> I feel like, let's say we do decide to get married. We're, we're not gonna feel that way. It's gonna be fine. But do you, have you guys felt any shift like in your relationship or thought process being like, like, holy crap, mm. like we're like getting married, like we're together. I, I mean, I have an answer, but you wanna go ahead? Yeah, I, I mean, personally, and, and we've been really open about this too. Cause like, I feel like some of the stuff that you're referencing is like prenups and stuff like that. And having to have like those conversations that can be uncomfortable and are like, you have to really address possible negative outcomes, you which is to. like, mm -hmm. which is crazy. But it, it, I think only has strengthened our relationship in being able to have those conversations. And I That's think good. for me, like the mindset shift has only been more positive to be like, okay, mm. this is like, we're like, this is, this is for we're real. doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we're, we're cool. doing it. I mean, I think to a degree, oddly enough, this podcast, because it is a business that we yeah. had to like start and co-own together. Right. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like a roadmap and a good mm -hmm. practice session it really for, was. Yeah. can we be in love and make money together? Yeah, like work and together. And spend money together sure. and have things that, you know, are always moving. And it made everything a lot, I think almost easier. Nice, kind of drew it out for you. Yeah, because not every couple I should be in that. business together. Absolutely. But, if we can make this work, a lot of the other stuff's not all that difficult. I actually, we just brought this up yesterday because we have the YouTube channel. Yep. And I was like, so how is that money thing gonna work? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, that's our first that? joint account. No, it's a it's a <gasps> real thing. Yeah, yeah, so I was like, is the money gonna go to my AdSense, yours, and then you pay me out? Like what? And then we're like, why don't we just like open up an account, account together? Account, yeah. And that's our first thing that we That's basically together. marriage, by the way, guys. Yeah. Right, yeah. and we you know, like, honestly- I'm excited. We we no, like, we it. really realize like it's funny because like obviously it's the same thing to having a baby that you know you get these mindsets of like holy crap like this is now 
a for real thing, even even if like, let's say Keen and I down the line, we're like, we're not working. We will always be in each other's lives for forever. Sure. We right. will always right. have to be partners yeah. and figure things out for our child. So it's kind of like this happened and we got pregnant and we're, we're starting this business together and we're having joint accounts together. And realistically, I mean, for me at least, I've honestly felt so comfortable. Like Very everything's good. kind of like, everything's like opened falling up. into place and yeah. I don't feel stressed. I don't even feel like we like, fight anymore like we're kind of just like this baby has almost just made us be like oh this is just how it was supposed to be like a little cement yeah yeah it's like so glues nice. us together and it's i feel super, like super nice. this is yeah. like th <clears throat> this is and i'm so happy this is happening for you guys and i feel like this is what people sometimes think of and put on a pedestal to be yeah. like this will fix our relationship but yeah. i feel like you guys I mean, were in yeah, such a good place to start we with were, we were right, exactly but yeah. again like so hearing this is like so beautiful and like so amazing but i'm like yeah. for the people out there listening like this is not going to solve your relationship problems right but i think there's a difference between like you guys thinking that it was going to solve it and, like doing this strategically versus you just being anxious about yeah. everything yeah this and it happens. just happening yeah yes. and then everything falling into place you no longer have a choice as to whether or not this is going to happen mm -hmm. so yeah. it's like all right well can't, the all the things i was kind of worried about doesn't matter. Out this the, is out moving the window, forward. Out the door. Yeah. So it's time to move forward. Yeah, and it, it wasn't like a last ditch effort. You know, okay, everything's falling apart. Like, should we have a baby? Yeah, <laughs> I think. Right, should we try having that a kid? Is a horrible <laughs> yeah. mindset. Mm -hmm. Like, it happens, and like, I hope it works out for those people. But mm -hmm. for us, yeah, I just feel like, yeah. That How has the pregnancy been, been, been? Just like overall, like, how have you been feeling? I know the first trimester is like always when you hear people feeling like you know really shitty yes. and sick and stuff. And it was not good. I was like really just waking up every single day feeling nauseous. Yeah. Um, it was really hard too because Keenan and I didn't live together yet. Yeah. I saw your vlog and you're just like, I just feel lonely because we haven't told people yet. I and was like, you're so still not living together. Lonely. I yeah. and it was really hard because, you know, um, we didn't test it at the time, which we probably should have, but he had gotten hazel and our dog honey does not like other dogs, especially females. Right. Ooh. And she'll start a fight and then Hazel will end it. Like yeah. so Hazel's a big oh, so Hazel's much big, bigger. Right. Yeah. A so, lover, but if if Another dog wants to test it. Yeah, hazel, yeah she hazel. should. You know, yeah. if you're if you're gonna get tested by a dog, like She'll yeah, defend herself. Defend sure. herself. Mm -hmm. But we were so worried, and at the same time, like I'm feeling like crap. I'm pregnant, so I was in my apartment alone. I mean, my sister was living with me at the time too. She came to stay with me, but she left every single day until 8 p.m. at night. So mm -hmm. it's not like I'm sitting there by myself. He's at his house. We go like days without seeing each other, and I'm just feeling like a mess. Mm -hmm. And it's so. Weird. I feel like the first trimester for me was really not great at all. More like I can handle the sickness. I think mentally I was just not okay. Yeah. I was feeling really depressed. I was feeling like super lonely. I was feeling like I have no, I mean, I had a purpose, but like I felt like no purpose in life. No one cares what I'm doing because everyone's off living their life, right. traveling, doing their job. Coachella. <laughs> I'm just sitting oh here God. like suffering by myself and no one knows why I'm suffering. Right. Because yeah. I can't tell anybody. Told, oh, yeah. It's it's literally been so like 180 since then. Oh my then. God, yes. Couldn't tell anybody we were mm -hmm. living together. It was like way too brand new to us. We had to like unpack and like process things. It was We also wanted horrible. to make sure the baby was safe. Like we didn't want to start telling people and then- you know, because something happens. Like, yeah, you always think about people wait until a specific amount of time until right. you start telling friends to. and family. Yeah, yeah, yeah for first, sure. First trimester is where majority of still or not stillbirths, but no, um, miscarriages. Miscarriages happen. Mm -hmm. So now that we're we know the baby's safe, the baby is like huge. You know, the He's baby's growing. growing a lot. Corn. We're li yeah, corn. We're living together. Like things are. It's so it's so, so much better. So it's Second like a breath of fresh air. Is, yeah, it's been really good. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. And I've honestly been feeling great. I mean, I got sick recently. Um, I got a sinus infection, and getting sick when you're pregnant is the worst. No, double double Geo. times as bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but have you ever, oh, got, have you ever had a god. man cold? Either of you? Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The man cold. Until one of you has a man cold, I don't want to hear it, okay? It's, it's oh, the God. worst. You know when like, you're not you know, making a child? Literally, thank God sniffles? that yeah. men aren't the like the carrier of the babies we because would, it would be no, no, awful. We wouldn't, no, I no, tell no, you that all done. the time. He, that is, he, would be the, yeah. he would be the worst person ever to take care of because oh, he is guys, the biggest We would not have a population. I don't Guys wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah, no, we wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. It, would it, would be, it would be impossible. Right, the population would die out. It because would die. Men just Women would, be able to would die. die. Unbelievably strong. Yeah. How about, you, yeah. I just DM this to you today, the alligator who- uh, Yeah, there was an alligator, a female alligator who had been living in only a colony of female alligators and had a baby. By herself. By herself. 
She just did it. So she she what, is Eve. She just did no it. No Adam needed. <laughs> Guys, what? by the way, our last value add in this world is eliminating itself. <laughs> yeah. We've got a few good years left. Yeah, you guys, what? yeah, you guys, yeah. that's, I've never I, heard that. We're yeah, eliminating yeah, we don't need anymore. you anymore. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were this, I, I always tell her, she's like doing everything. She's like, the, she's growing, she's doing everything. And all I was was the supplier. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, it's funny because oh, like don't, don't, don't minimize your role here. <laughs> yeah, I need more. Yeah, I need more validation. Okay, I, so give me some advice for the things that you've learned already not to do, or the things that like are the the no nos that the the guys who are listening, all seventeen of them, could go great. Put them in the back pocket. In like being a new dad. Yeah. Well, no, no. Be, well, in, or it's like in the relationship, relationship. Being the, the supportive of someone growing a mm. child. What are the things you've already learned? Oh. What? Yeah. What makes you the most mad <laughs> when I do? <laughs> Um, I saw I, you. I saw you cooking a healthy dinner for Ayla, and you had pizza last night. Oh yeah, he did not cook that. Oh, <laughs> Ayla, your face. No, so I just took the picture of it. He ain't cooking it for me. No, this man knows how to make cereal and toast. Uh, you too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You do. <laughs> what kind of cereal? Cereal. Uh, Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks. Yes. Apple Jacks. Okay. I'm an Apple Jacks. Can you get those next time at the grocery store? Yeah. yeah. I don't Can you please store. go after this and get them? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I don't grocery. Store. I'm tired. Yeah. 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 I'm like. I'm like doing stuff today. Yeah. Yeah. Kian will walk out of his. Uh, he'll be in his computer room all day mm -hmm. working. <laughs> I'm on Fortnite, work. and he'll come out. And he'll be like. He'll be like. Do you think you could maybe some corn? <laughs> and then he's like. He's like. And I'm like. <laughs> so good. Her and corn I, is so elote. And I'm like. I'm like, Kian, it's 1030, like I'm tired. And he goes, he goes, please. You can take the boy out of Iowa. And then he's like this, he's can't like, he's like, he's boy. like, hold on, hold on. He's like, I gotta go, please make it. Okay, bye. And I, can't, like, I oh. can't pause this, yeah. I can't pause this. I've told notes. her that so many times, oh it's God. online, I can't pause it. She'll come in the in the room and she'll be like, Kian, I'm, this was very recent as well. <laughs> she'll like, open the door. I'm in an online like <laughs> tournament match of Rocket League, which I play. And um, I'm like doing a lot, doing a lot. I could see her. She's like, can't, oh wait, okay, wait, never mind. I'm like, Ayla, what? And she's like, she's like, I'll just wait, I'll wait. And then she's standing behind my back, just watching me. I'm like, oh my God, I feel like it's a so Slender Man is behind yells me. At me. Slender Man. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, what did you what did you want? I'm so sorry. Like it was an online magic camp pause. She's like, I just want to tell you I was making food. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what? This is how it would have went. I would have been playing. I'm like, Ayla, yeah, what's what's going on? She's like, I'm making food. That's so All stupid. right, <laughs> like you have to come tell me that. Oh my goodness I think gracious! We should, we should cut four eleven Slender Man some slack. I I, I do, I do, I <laughs> yeah. do. I I one hundred percent know I have to, but yeah. When she comes in and tells me she's making food, I'm like, well, you got I, it, babe. You've been Good in there for hours, so I just want to come in and talk to you. Yes. All right. Yes. I think we should just we should, play we should role play some some enthusiasm. Let's try this again. Hey, Kim, I'm taking. I'm, I'm gonna make some food. Ooh. Okay. I'm happy for you. Mm -mm. Okay, no, we can do better. What can I do? What can no, I do? Go ahead. His thing is usually like, "Oh, what are you making me?" Like that's what he wants. That's good. Kian, if you said if you said, "What are you making me?" I would yeah. drop kick you yeah. to another planet. I would turn off my computer. Oh my god, because that's all you ask. To another planet. Uh, where the marriage laws? No, no, no. Don't work. We we said universal. Oh, oh. marriage you, laws. Okay, okay, okay. I, I always tell Keen, I was like, so I don't print. know how another girl would handle you. So, but you guys are just getting used to the whole living together thing. It's it's yeah. it's still moving. Yeah. We're, we're still, we're I mean, still we've finding. we've also like we've had training before. Like I feel like I. You know, I've been with <laughs> I, for, for people that are not watching this training. I, you're well, gonna yeah, the way I was, just glitched. I was yeah. basically living with you when my dad was living in my apartment. So like, I was we had like a oh, little trial. I thought you meant like someone came over and like we took classes. <laughs> yeah, right. that too. Yeah, like, academy. academy. Yeah, yeah academy. he trained us. Can you imagine us. Like, that there was someone passed. that came to train? Well, That's you know what? Thought. Maybe maybe we do need someone to come in here and just nudge some of the partners in the right direction in terms of. <laughs> no. Maybe I do need a little growing up. Yeah. But but it says every YouTuber boy ever, I feel yeah. like. Yes. I'm a late bloomer. We've discussed this. We're gonna get there, Kian. We're gonna yes. get there. It's yeah. gonna be okay. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Yeah. I'm taking the baby and I'm running with it, dude. I I will like, it's gonna be me and Maybe the baby. Maybe rephrase that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, not like that. Sounds you're like not a watching. Bit like kidnapping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will be, this baby will be my entire life. Like, I cannot wait to have this baby. I'm gonna change all the diapers. I'm gonna feed it, like, everything it wants. I'm gonna... Just, and we love to hear it. When I was prepping for this oh episode, the amount of uh, like recommended videos that were like Keen being a dad for seven minutes on like my sidebar on YouTube. Oh, I'm the ready. fake videos. Like, I'm so or ready. just like, yeah, or you like holding other people's babies and stuff. People have made a lot of fan edits of you holding babies. I am unbelievably ready. Wait. Like I joke a lot and I, I might seem like all these things, but when it happens, dude, 
Forget everything. I going to be in there. It's just me and this baby. Rocket this League, is also on, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is on a podcast, so if I need to go back and rewind and be like, do you remember this? when you said that? Yeah. Look, Mark, I cannot Get wait. off the computer. <laughs> wait, uh, this is maybe a simple question. Do you, or I should say, have you, with other people's babies, been interested in holding it? Yes. I love, I used to be a preschool I'm teacher. Just, I'm just too scared. Like I feel right. like- We're the same way. We like, like, I don't want okay, to touch baby. I thought I was crazy. Cause I feel yeah. like it's like a, I, I, I don't know. I know how to it's hold things. Weird. Yeah. I it's just, scary. What it if feels I like a, a really, a really intense liability to hold someone's baby. Yeah. And yeah. It, yeah. And like this, the super smallest way I can explain it is how you hold your phone. You're just like that. Boom, boom, boom. Someone gives you their phone, exact same iPhone. Yeah. yeah. Hey, put your number on my phone. You don't grab it and do it like that. You grab it and you're like, like so careful. Yeah, you you yeah. Hold, yeah. you hold other people's phones. And you're weird. Just a little different. Yeah. yeah, you're not over there like you know. But I wonder full, full palm in it for the people because I agree with you. But I wonder for the people that that are like careless about other people's shit. I wonder if they're also mm. more inclined to hold babies. Mm. Whoa, in like the same way that just yeah. like oh what how do you? I don't know. What, no, you just brought that up and like that's the thing that like you know people are like oh the, the baby is gonna go like touch it. I'm like I, no, I I don't want to hurt yeah. it. Right. I yeah. feel like I'm gonna too like delicate. fall over and just trip on it. Yeah, I'm for just sure. Gonna happen. But what if it did? Right. That's what I think. I, it's just, I feel like when I, and I have a nephew and when he was a baby, I like, I, I know, I knew how to hold him after like a couple tries. But you the know, first, can we get the, the visual one more time? Yeah, yeah the first one, this? for all the people who aren't watching, try to visualize it. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just weird. Like I felt like he was like liquid and like I would have to take care of his neck and his yeah. arms would be falling off. And his no, it's, it's literally like holding like a, a really fragile blubber. piece of blubber. So scary. So scary. Also yeah. the whole thing with like the, like the, even when babies come out and they have to wear helmets because their heads are still malleable yeah. like enough mushy, because yeah. mushy heads, it's like so scary that you have a skull that is mushy. Like that's it's just so, a terrifying so thought. Scary. I honestly really don't like thinking about that. That, <laughs> that weirds me Your out. Your kid's gonna come up with a perfectly cylindrical head. It's gonna be great. Absolutely, Corn. rock hard. We, Wait, cylindrical or sphere? Spherical. Spherical. spherical, spherical. You don't want a cylindrical. You don't that want a cylindrical. Be, that would not be good. I would still I be, be awesome. personally have no idea what that don't is. Don't even know, yeah. Tube. A sphere. Oh, okay. okay. Well, no. just a, cil a cylinder, cylinder, sorry, cylindrical. cylindrical. There's probably yeah. some good like college scholarships for that. Cylindrical, but, but spherical. Yeah. What, were, what did you say? <laughs> cylindrical? Cylindrical. The, that, that, might, that might not be a word. Spherical is a sphere. Mm -hmm. Cylindrical is a cylinder. Yeah. What is? Rectangular. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm I've never heard that word for all nine people that are still yeah. on now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that was go. a test. You're still here? Yeah, yeah. 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 it gets yeah. good. Yeah. Talking geometry. <laughs> Are you guys going to vlog like the the birthing process? We know. are going. Well, <laughs> personally, I don't know if we haven't discussed that yet. But well, like, I would like, yeah. I would yeah. like talk through it. <laughs> I would like Never to film it. regardless whether we put it up or not. Right. Yeah, just to have for you, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah. That like at least we have footage of like this is our it's first a huge baby. memory. You know, yeah. you don't get to go back on your first baby. Like yeah. this is the first time we're ever doing this. So like we're for sure gonna film. I don't know if I want the birthing like of that to be shown. Like, yeah, no, she, like science video of it. That sounds she, like um yeah. Did the, you guys have the, to watch the birthing video in, in high school. Way too young. Yeah, miracle yeah. of way life. Way too young. Yeah, right. Yeah. I could have waited a couple years. Yeah. Yeah, and Maybe I also think Kean would faint because he can't do blood. So like, if he oh, sees anything, oh my god. Okay, so Kean, you're not gonna cut the cord then, probably. Oh, I'm, oh the oh, cut the wow. cord, do you yes. Think you can? Well, it's not dripping blood. It's, it's got like, like it's got blood on it. Yeah, it, that, that'll be fine. Do you but think? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You're gonna cut the cord. I have to. I have to. There's no, there's nothing that I'm more confident in my entire life on than the fact that I will not cut Jeremy that cord. Jeremy would really. drop to the ground in seconds, mere that's, that's seconds. It. I have to because it's one of those things like how you said you can't go back and like right. do your first. Yeah. If I don't do it, it's like I will always think of that. Like I have to. What if you right. cut it it weird though? What if you cut it crooked? The no, doc, fix it. Yeah, the yeah, doctors are gonna. It. Well, yeah. you do it, and there's like eight inches or ten. I don't know if that's eight Jeez. inches. <laughs> there's wow. Uh, listen, my guy. Wow. <laughs> there's a lot of inches of like. You do it in half to like separate the two, but right. then the doctors go they through do it, and like- They do it, make the nice belly button. Well, if I'm yeah. doing yes. it, I'm doing it. I don't want to, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're not gonna yeah. let you do it close to the baby. Okay, oh, absolutely. All right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you have to do I'll it do a little it. bit far away. Wow, you, so you're gonna do it. But with the birth, I'm not sitting up there VIP shoulder bumping the, the oh, doctor. I, see, I I'm think you are. In the back. I think you're gonna have a camcorder. You're gonna be ready no, for this thing? No, he can't. We, we tried to go get his um, blood taken. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm with you. Uh, and it took him uh, days to finally go to the appointment. Yep. She I, said Monday the, to Friday, and I was like, we were doing Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday. He waited Friday. until Friday. I had already gotten eight vials done. Uh, I've been through the ringer doing uh, everything I need to. Uh -huh. And we get there. Well, no, before we get there, I get to his house. 
he's got the straightest face on. He is not smiling. He's not happy. Do not talk to me. And then <laughs> as he's driving, he was like, I'm going to pass out. Yep. And I was like, Kian, we're not. I'm going to pass out. started driving. And he goes, yes. he goes, I can't Speed drive. He's like, you need to drive. And so I got in the passenger seat and I'm driving us there. And he goes, okay, you need to be on my team. He goes, if I get there and I can't do it, you need to just leave with me. If don't I got start there, fighting with me and don't tell me I have to get this done because I can't do it, Ayla. It and would I was make like, it worse. I was like, Kian, it's for our baby. We have to get this done. Wait, what, what, what do we mean? I, I, Basically, help. we took a genetic test okay. and like, yeah. Yeah. It, it shows you any kind of you know, harmful yep. things that you might yes. have. Yes. It's so rare. Like it's basically like like 500 different things. I came up for three that like I was basically recessive on. So like you all have a small, small chance mm, that yeah. a baby's going to get it. Is that, is that a new thing or have they always done that? It, they've been doing it for a while. Yeah. yeah I, we have a few friends who are even just doing like their family planning and doing like eggs and stuff and like yeah. without even making their embryo yet until like freeze, they're even doing the genetic testing. Cool. It's, it's just a safety yeah. thing. You just get it done. So then Peace of the mind. three that, that I came up for, they're like, we need to test Keen to make sure that if he's dominant in so that. So you're the reason that he had to do this. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm the reason. Yeah, it was terrifying. And I made sure she was because like you made when, sure she felt bad about it too. <laughs> no, I made sure she was on my team because I didn't want to get there. I was like, hey, I gotta go. And she's like, no, we have to go in. It would make me feel so much worse. Yeah, I understand that. Like, like when you're realist. panicky and like yeah. having a spiral. When you're sick and people are like, oh, you don't look so good. Thanks, that's helping me a lot. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Like I'm panicking and she's like, oh, can we still got to go in? You're like, no, I don't want to. So I know. got it done, cried in the elevator. He did. That's made okay. it home. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. I had to. No, I had to let it out. So when it comes to filming the birth, I don't think Kean can see down there. Right. He might freak out. So yeah. he, I'm picturing it now and I need to leave the room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so as everyone who watches this podcast knows that every time I go to get Botox every four or five months, I, I pass out. Even really? just oh, like yeah. even just thinking about the needles on his forehead, he passes out. I can pass out right now. Oh. Yeah. Watch this. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, needle, I'm, I'm fine. This. I'm fine. I'm fine with needles. But it's, it's, it's just blood. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have tattoos all over my body. To be fair, though, I'd rather get a tattoo than a shot. Yeah, that's what I'm. Th okay, yes. I, th yeah, I think yeah, that yeah. as well because these are just. That is uh, very interesting. Um, it's, it's, more just, like a, it's more like a dragging needles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are like subdermis but needles. To your, your, you know how like you get like weirded out with two Advils. Mm -hmm. If oh, I, yeah. if there's a, like a needle in me or doing something, I feel like. Why does my toe feel like that? Why yeah, is my stomach feel absolutely. like that? I'm oh, gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna it's go. so out of character. We swap. We swap yeah. so hard in those things. Like I can get blood taken. So I don't. Weird. But yeah. yeah. Humans are weird. But at the same time that like I'm obviously like passing out physically, I'd like to think I'm pretty calm as I'm. You're dying. you're a calm passer outer for sure. Yeah. I'm going. No, that, <laughs> no, no, he was like he's like good night. Oh my god! Yeah. Eyes rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I'll be back in a sec. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, just want everyone to know I'm I'm gonna be out for a bit. Like oh he's, my he's god! Not, he's wow. not panicked about it. Yeah. Like yeah. externally, you can't tell. Aside from him not having any color in his face because he's just like R.I.P. Right. Like right. He, I would, he is quite calm. I would be the panic. I'm, I have too much anxiety to yeah to go peacefully. And then you'd wake <laughs> up with anxiety. You know what? I think it's good that you're being put under for the wisdom teeth thing. I think I'm gonna pass out yes. before the what's it called. The stuff that puts you to sleep. Oh, the, laugh, uh, the, the laughing yeah, gas. Yeah, the laughing gas before. No, no, they, they usually through IV. Yeah, but what's it called? He has to get an IV. He thinks it's going to be this, but what is this stuff called? The uh, um, oh, the um, um the sedation stuff yeah, that the, like uh, puts oh, you under the um anesthesia. Oh. Anesthesia, yeah. Jesus. I will pass out. We all four were struggling I right know, there. That guys. was tough. Tough. I'll probably pass out before <laughs> it even hits my system. You know what? That's good. You'll just get them one step closer to you being under. The anesthesia, <sighs> like he gets there and goes, yeah, we're good. He's no? like, okay. someone was here before. <laughs> someone yeah. did this. We have, I have to we have to drug um, Moose, our dog, before he goes to the vet for anything because he freaks out. <gasps> oh, Diggy, I'm not even kidding, has not felt stress in his entire life. Like literally they the put dad. the thermometer yep. Yep, up the bum. He doesn't even flinch where He's... Moose is screaming at the top of his oh, lungs. Like, oh, no, he, like, they're like literally removing a Band-Aid from his yeah. arm. No, we, we can hear him. Bloody like, murder. You know like they're getting yeah. the dog to bring him out? You oh. just hear him screaming? Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it's because guy. I'm going to say it because I know is how I am with my dogs. I think I've, I don't know if you guys Baby. have done this, babied our too dogs much. too much. I too much. I and that's how I'm afraid of this baby boy coming out. Way too much <laughs> yeah. that I know the reason that they panic is yeah. because I did that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm fully not in denial about that as well too. This baby boy will be very, very, very baby by you. I don't care. <laughs> You mother however you want a mother. I just love him so yeah. much already. Kian, right? Yeah. Kian, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're uh You had the uh, Yeah, it was nice. It was yeah. like the girl thing. Yeah. 
Okay, we have a game. Yes. Simultaneous. Um, and so this is a 10 question newborn trivia game oh. to put you to the test to see oh how- And you've done this before? Oh no no no! This is specific we made for, you. It for you. Yeah, this is, oh. this is made for you guys. I thought you guys had like this game that you yeah. play like, on the podcast. Before we end this, we're just gonna do a quick game to see if you're ready to be parents. And yeah. if you're not, just okay. That's a great show. I'm oh, ready great, here. Oh, yeah. Great visual I show. Know. Wow, Thank you. this is exciting. And so if if we fail, and also Jeremy and I, our producer did this, so we're also gonna answer to see if we're ready to be parents. The answer is no. But if everyone does poorly, it's okay because there's lots of time before baby boy gets so here. So much time. Okay. We're only halfway. Uh, only halfway. I'm excited. Give me thirty seconds. Bear back. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, bathroom. I have been needing to go forever. Oh boy, Perfect. bathroom. You know this one? I was gonna, I've been That's cute. To go I love so how long. pregnant girly pop stop. doesn't have to pee. I do, but I'm actually holding it, so. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever stop and ask yourself, how much time am I spending on me? This week, we invite you to do just that. You've got 168 hours in a week. And how are you using them? If you're like most of us, you'll find you're spending a considerable chunk of your time on others, being there, supporting, nurturing, giving. While this is not necessarily a bad thing, it's also vital to reflect on your own needs and your own well-being. It's easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you. You may feel stretched thin, emotionally exhausted, or even burned out because of this, but imagine if you could find a better balance. What if you could continue supporting others while ensuring you're not leaving yourself behind? That's where therapy comes in. Therapy is not just a repair tool for when things go wrong. Consider it your personal life toolkit to find the balance you need. Therapy can help you set boundaries, identify your needs, and allocate time for self-care. Therapy has been a huge help in pushing me to prioritize myself. I've learned that taking care of myself is not selfish. It's necessary. So here's to finding balance and putting you back on your priority list. Therapy can be your first step toward this crucial self-love journey. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash WT9 today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash WT9. Okay, who's ready to be parents? (laughs) Not me. Eek. Not me. Okay. How many times per day does a newborn need to eat? Oh. A, three meals per day. This feels like a trick question. B, every four hours. C, eight to 10 times per day. D, on the hour, every hour. Question. Wait, I thought it was every two hours. <laughs> the fact that you already had an answer in your, your brain, whether it's right or not, I'm impressed. Have That's you probably been like, eight to 10 then. It was, it was uh, what I read was it was every two to three hours. That's probably eight to okay, 10 times a day. That would be eight to 10 times per day. Okay. okay. Is that your answer? Yeah. We're gonna lock in C. C. Oh, what are we C. thinking? Can you guys agree with C, or no. do you guys have to pick? No, no, no. We can we 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 can have our own opinion. Um, <laughs> our baby's gonna have a different feeding schedule. Yeah, yeah. Well, every four, every three days. I'm between I'm between B and C because I and feel by like the way, I do have a story when this is when we answer this. I I feel like like especially mothers who are breastfeeding, it's impossible to get more than a few hours of sleep every night because you have yeah. to feed every so often. Yes. So maybe maybe I don't know. What do you think, C? I would feel comfortable with C. I, I we'll join you for C. Okay. 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 Yeah. What is it? Yay! Let's go. Should we have a baby? No. No. Uh, just a, a quick uh, tangent. That when I met Lauren and uh, I, I hadn't like come into Moose's life yet. Yeah. She did this thing called second dinner <laughs> every oh. day, and that meant that once he got his dinner at six, at nine o'clock he would get another dinner. <gasps> it's the oh, little, a little and, one. And, oh. and, and he and her like reasoning was this because he gets really hungry during the night. And so I have to split it up and get him another meal closer to when he goes to bed. Otherwise he wakes up and he's hungry. Oh, oh my because God. Because he's a baby. Because, okay, sometimes there was Don't like- Don't give her any ideas. There was like a week straight where every night at like five or four in the morning, yeah. he would throw up just like bile. Yeah. And oh. I was like, is it for, because he's hungry? And so they started doing second dinner where he would get like a little evening snacky and then he stopped doing it. So I was like, he's oh, just well, hungry. That, that's a good mother. Thank is you. he still on so second much. meal? No, no Jeremy no, kicked him off done. second dinner. He's done. Okay, so he just gets a big one first. He gets two meals a day like every other dog in the (laughs) world. You know what it is too, is like our dogs get two meals a day, but like, I mean, literally between Keen and I, we're giving them treats. Yeah, but we're giving them like some of our food. Yes. We're, we're, we're we, like, you know. But we were still doing that. Okay. And we got a second dinner. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And he looked like, like, you know, like a kettleball. Yeah. yeah. That. Okay. Next question. He, he's definitely a better shape now. Yeah. So funny. 
What's the standard advice on how long you should wait after childbirth until you can have sex? Kia knows this answer right off the bat. I think I know this one. A, one week. B, six weeks. C, one month. D, three months. What's your answer? Okay, I was Im- immediately going to say C, one month. Okay. But I think it's six weeks. I think six it's weeks six as well. weeks. <gasps> is it six yeah, weeks? That's only, is. that's only two weeks after one yeah, month. Yeah, that's a, week, a month and a half afterwards. So, yeah, it's I'm six lo- weeks because you have to be able to be fully, I mean, you can do it. It's like you can have sex at any time, mm. but it's very much not going to feel good um, yeah, if sure. you start pretty early. I'm locking, okay. I'm locking B, six weeks. Yeah. Okay. And our answer <laughs> is... B, Let's go. six, six weeks. weeks. We are ready to be parents. When we get done with this with this game, can, can we talk about pregnant sex for just 10 minutes? I just, sure. you know, I just wanna like, I wanna get an idea <laughs> of that. Finale. Because I gotta figure out whether or not you feel like you're poking your son, but let's move on. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh God. I'm fearful of it, but it's, it's okay. Okay, what should you use to clean your baby's umbilical cord? A, rubbing alcohol, B, a baby shampoo, Wait. C, dish soap and warm water, and D, don't clean it. Is there like an E? They all look good. <laughs> Baby oh, shampoo. God. Mm, shampoo for the hair. Rubbing I'm alcohol say, seems like no. That seems like way too harsh. I'm going to say B is out. Dish soap and warm water. Don't clean it seems like yeah. it's so odd that it has to be it. But I just feel like, you know, in the Dawn commercials when they clean oil off of like baby ducks with right. like Dawn right. dish soap, like that seems like a viable answer. I'm mm. going gonna, gonna to go D. D, don't clean it. My man. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it's just like it does it itself. Like there's already everything that it needs. <gasps> I'm I don't know. Scared. I don't know. I want to say D too. Like, it has don't to like clean it. It has to like the blood has to like cauterize. No, but yeah. we have to clean it and because fall off you have to give your baby a bath. I would say warm water. Like just use warm. So okay, okay, maybe, maybe the baby dish shampoo. Soap? Soap? I if it was baby shampoo and warm water, I'd be shampoo like, is uh, for the pelo. Yeah, but like you can use shampoo. You can, <laughs> I'm sorry. When what? you when you have the hair, hair, when you have baby Lawrence shampoo, you no can Spanish. do it all over the body. Because it doesn't affect shampoo on the body, though. Baby shampoo can go all over their body. Have you ever gotten so shamp- shampoo in your penis? Because if you had, you would know that you cannot put it everywhere. <laughs> and he the knows worst. damn well that everyone's tried. And it's a bad idea. Shampoo yeah, in you, your and, penis? And it's not just like a one-time thing. No, you, you do it do repeatedly, it. Yep. and you don't yep. learn. Yep. Every guy ever. How is it that you would get shampoo? Lauren, in your, don't ask like questions in, in that I'm not penis ready to answer. Hole? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In the penis. Yes. Hole. You know how like I just jumped and I. But it's facing. Down. Lauren, Lauren, if the stop. hole was facing she, down, how did it get in the hole? I'm not a scientist, Listen, but yeah. it for sure does not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just telling you right now that <clears> it's <throat> not a good idea. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say D. I'm gonna go really? B. I, I don't know. I I think, no, 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 scared. D. Don't clean it. Don't clean I it. think it. Yeah. yeah. It's. It's. Wrong. I don't know why. Do I don't, don't know don't why. Clean okay. I don't know why. Okay. I that's... think it has everything that it needs to do to clean itself, and then it has to harden and fall off by itself. Because I feel like I would only use warm water to touch around it. I wouldn't clean it. Yeah. Like you yeah. want to scrub it or no. like make it do anything. I would, I would, yeah. Okay, so far I'm getting wow. everyone hey, right. Oh my God, you're ready. What? I, I said D and you're like, I think it's baby shampoo. And then you just, you guys are going to be great together. <laughs> yeah. At the very yeah, end, she's like, beautiful. I guess D. No. Just, I do have a quick confession. I didn't Uh-oh. actually know that the umbilical cord is around after it gets cut. Yeah, I just it's assumed like, the belly button still, is there. No, yeah. so like there's still like a whole thing that you have to kind of clean around. And is that like, how you like, it becomes <clears> an ear and Audi? It just like falls, it basically... What falls I've off. Falls off and then I like it, it like kind of goes in and it, it does its own thing. But like if you mess with it too much, well, you, you can create it. like your own, own belly, belly button, button. A weird button. belly button. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Jeremy and I have actually had a full conversation about baby belly buttons and he's fully blacked it out. I'm now realizing and I even oh. sent him a photo because someone that we follow on Instagram posted a picture of their newborn and their belly button. I remember sending him being like, oh, whoa, fucking newborn baby belly, newborn baby happened. belly buttons are weird as shit. Never happened. Yeah, he fully obviously has blacked this out. <laughs> I'm going to have you Google those. <laughs> At what age do most babies sleep through the night? One year old, two years old, three months mm-hmm. old or nine months old? It's oh. too similar, all of them. This Except is the one really the two. hard. I think it probably depends on if your baby's a good sleeper because I know all right. babies are so different. I've heard most, that okay, two so are terrible. So terrible two. So I would say no. Three months old, definitely not. Yeah. Too young. So one, nine, nine months in one year well, is just too see, close here, to each other. So here's the weird thing is I've heard from different parents because sometimes some moms will be nine like, months. sometimes some moms will be like, the first couple months with your baby is the best because- they just sleep all day. They right. sleep so much, yeah. Like they're growing. Mm-hmm. But through the night, I would say maybe, I'm gonna go D. I'm gonna lock in D, okay. but you know when on a, you don't want a Scantron where you're doing like back in high school yeah, or middle yeah, school, yeah. you don't want to do the same one twice because you're like, oh, it just doesn't 
Yeah, you just like did would, a D. Yeah. I just did one. It can't be a D. All right, I'll go with A. I'm going to go D nine months. Yeah, I'm going to go D as well. Ready? Uh, the oh correct answer is God. C, three months old. I knew it. Wow. Because in you the beginning, yourself. in the beginning, I was saying they sleep so much. I just don't oh know if it's through God. the night, but that makes sense. So I was wrong. I should have just gone with my gut. Three months. See, yes. I thought they were like really bad. Sleeping. You know what you're doing. I thought they were really you know bad sleeping. As Keen said, yeah. you're good at this. I am good at this. You're good. There. You heard it right. Yeah, I three. That's very surprising to me that yeah. I got one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay, maybe it was a don't do D D. Right. It has to be different. Okay. Great logic. Go ahead. Wait, so what's the score now? How, how, how are we at with accuracy? 3 1? Uh, I got one wrong, so. Kian and wrong. Ayla are one ahead of you guys. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Also, okay. We, we, have to be, we have to be in unison, I think, on our answers. Got we it. have to choose yeah, yeah, as, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, 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 as a couple. Yeah, 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 we have to agree yeah, yeah. on okay. right. A, B, C, yeah, or D. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. A. <laughs> when should a baby ideally have their first bath? ASAP. 24 hours after birth, 30 days after birth, five to seven days after birth. Oh, why does D look so good? D looks good again. I know. I, know. I totally agree. 30 days, way too long. 24 I'm gonna hours. I'm going to say D with you. Let's say, let's do D. I feel, I feel good about D double as well D, too. Double D. Double D. Okay, here we go. Correct answer is? <sighs> wow, hours. B, 24 hours after birth. That's why? shocking. Why? D just looks so good because you had a little window. Mm -hmm. Five to seven mm -hmm. is yeah. like, okay, you yeah, can yeah, pick. That feels it's right, like, that feels right. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know the test maker was fucking with us on that That's one. That's why ASAP was kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know what You know what also messed with me too is that I follow this one <laughs> mom and she just posted baby's first bath and she's had this baby for like more than at least 24 hours. Right, so you're like, your baby's stanky. So I was thinking about that video. But, but do you think maybe she was just... Like in a video. Maybe she, maybe she yeah. was just like first video of yeah. the baby's yeah. bath. First yeah. video yeah. of the baby's first bath. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All okay. right. We're losing. Dang. Well, what is, <laughs> wait, you guys picked that? Yeah. No, we got it wrong. Okay. We, 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 we're, we're we picked your side. We're all losing right now. We were, we were, yeah. we were yeah, yeah, still yeah, one yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, you're still one okay. ahead. Okay. What is cradle cap? A knit hat babies wear <laughs> to help them fall asleep. <laughs> a helmet some baby. Is it bad that I thought cap like, like, like the slang. Jesus. A helmet some babies wear to help with the head deformities. Oh, yeah. I know some babies with that. A minor infection on the scalp that requires medication. Or oh. D, flaky skin on top of the baby's head. Oh my God. They all look real. Okay, no, knit hat. Babies don't need a little knit hat. As much as I would love the idea that a baby sleeps better with a little tiny hat on, that makes me love my ovaries. Feel I'm still reading this in my mind. What is cradle cat? So the thing for me, which my mind goes to is like, you basically cradle your your baby at night. You um, what is it called? We swaddle, uh, swaddle, swaddle, and you don't need a cap for that. So right, that's what I'm saying. A, I guess, would be gone. The the helmet thing is a real thing, yeah, but I like, is that be. called cradle cap? I don't think it's called cradle cap though. I feel like I know a lot of helmet babies, and I've never heard any of the parents. Who are say these helmet babies cap. that you know? Um, Lana's niece is a helmet baby. I, Flaky skin okay. on top right. of the baby's you, head. A little bit. Uh, you, I didn't think you were gonna be able to name one. And you Scalp know. infection. A flaky. Lauren has that currently. <laughs> we call that psoriasis, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Scalp infection requires medication. Psoriasis representation. I think should we just go with B? I, I like B. All right, we're gonna go with B. I don't, I don't want B. B. I, don't I don't want B either. I don't think. Well, hold on. Then you guys might have the chance of yeah, tying is, it up for yeah. us. Are you locking in B? So I don't like that. I like <laughs> when you guys <laughs> yeah. like what we say. No, you guys have led us on a terrible path. Yeah. I'm scared. B. What do we think? B. No, not B. I think it's C or D. Go with A. What about C? I'm scared. C. Let's do C. You want to do C? Okay. C, final okay. answer, Regis. Okay, locking it in. Regis. Fuck! What? Fuck! D, flaky right. skin on top of the baby's head. No points for anybody. Cradle no cap. points for anybody. Oh, That's so weird. Man. It's a weird name. Now. Change the so name. So sorry. Name doesn't make sense. Okay, exclusively breastfed baby poop is... <laughs> wait, so I'm sorry, wait, what? Exclusively breastfed <clears throat> baby poop is A, mustard yellow, B... Oh, the color of baby poop hard, if they've only eaten breast milk. Yes. Got it. B, hard and black, C, right. lime green, D, white. It's yellow, A. I yeah, was gonna, yeah, I was gonna go yellow. Why do we... I don't know why I know that either. You guys knew that. Yeah, I don't yeah, know why I, I know, know that. Because we, we knew it already. We knew. But you guys knew yeah. that. Yeah, it's 100% A because like it, 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 there's all these videos of like babies like- Blowouts. Blowouts in the beginning of newborn <laughs> phase. <laughs> blowouts, what? Oh! what? Yeah, it's yellow, it's weird. I don't know about the, the hard and black I've heard, but I don't know Mustard what that comes Mustard yellow, from. answer A. Woo! Couldn't have known that less. Yeah, I don't know why I knew that. Like it's shocking that I knew that. But I've also never had breast milk. <clears throat> so right, so you Ever? never had- Ever, adopted. 
So oh. yeah, ah, yeah. So, like, yeah. Okay. so like, it would have been weird, but yeah. very weird. I don't remember yeah. having breast milk. I don't, I don't think most people do. And in fact, if you did, probably a little, <laughs> maybe you should have got off the teat a little bit sooner. Yeah, what's the age to stop breastfeeding? When you can remember. Six. Nine? Six. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, six. I said I nine. I mean, some women <sighs> breastfeed for a long time. Too long. Okay, yeah. the average amount of crying a day for a three-month-old baby is A, four oh, hours God. per day, oh. B, three hours per day, C, two hours per day, or D, one hour per day. Honestly, all these seem low. I'm hoping it's E, zero. <laughs> I want to say D so bad. It's definitely not D or C. Three-month-old baby, I'm going to say four. I'm just saying like the highest. The highest? Yeah, because yeah. that's should still low. B? I think we should go B. Yeah, that's B. still okay. low. All right. We're going A, I guess. This we're is the B. final they question. Sleep a lot. So this is the final question? Okay, so either you guys win or they, we'll have to do another question for a tiebreaker. B. Oh, my God. Final B. answer. B. Final a, answer. Four hours. Let's see. Okay, four hours. Here we a. go. D. Oh my God, D, one, one hour, hour per day. We love day? that. Yeah, I know damn well. We that they, love that. I guarantee 100,000 people just go, what do I have? Yeah, that's yeah, wrong. My I can baby. confirm. <laughs> we just looked up the, the, the demographics people listen to this thing. It is 97% female, and I have a feeling people are going to we'll have a problem yeah, with that stuff. I don't we'll have, uh, think that's correct, but we're about know. to find but, out. But the thing is, is realistically, it's so hard to do these questions because the countless books, TikToks, things I've seen. Yeah. Every baby is different. Yeah. So yeah. like there's really <clears throat> no, there's no like pamphlet on like, this is exactly this. This is exactly totally. that. Totally. It's literally no just guide. like, no, cause you're, every baby is so different. Are you just exclusively on baby talk now? <laughs> like <clears throat> TikTok baby, baby everything for TikTok. It's not even like I want it, but it reads my mind. Yeah. And uh, it's also just, I'm sure you're like Googling things and reading right? articles and, and then stuff. And now my phone and, is just yeah. like all sending me stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. just baby stuff. And now Stop. we just talked about babies for two hours. We'll now have baby stuff. On I know. Yeah. 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 Great. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's how yes. it works. So I- uh, Jeremy wants to know if it feels like you're poking your baby in your head with your penis when you have sex. I literally forgot yes. about that. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. exactly what I wanted to go He's back like, to. He's like, I hope you forgot about that. No, I need to know. Because- I, I'm, I'm scared, I'm nervous. That was my number one thing that I talked to Ayla about. I, at first we couldn't for a while because right. it was like, you know, there was something like the doctor was saying like, wait. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then towards the end, it's like another wait period. So there's like a sweet uh, spot. Doc is killing me. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a cock block. <laughs> well, so. and not with every, not with every woman, like with some women you're fine. With me personally, I was um, still having almost like periods yep. mm. while pregnant mm -hmm. and you can't have that. So she was like, to be safe, yeah. just, just wait. Like, wait, don't yeah. do anything. So yeah. we were like, okay, that's fine. You know, I'm not really feeling like I want to do anything anyway. Yeah. So at first it was like, there was stuff that like the doctor was telling us not to do. And we're mm -hmm. like, okay, let's not do that. And then towards the end, there's another sweet spot or there's another spot, another time period where you can't. Mm -hmm. And then there's a sweet spot in the middle where you can or where it's like oh. safe or whatever. And then I was telling Ayla, I was like, I just don't feel I don't Horny. feel like it. <laughs> kidding. I don't feel like it's right. I feel yeah. like I'm touching my child. It feels child like there's like a there. third, a third party involved now. Yeah, I worry yeah. about doing a few like things. It. Yeah, but this this thing worries me, and I don't even have a child in there. Yeah, and at the very end, when the kid is like almost full term, like where it's eight months old, seven, eight, nine months old. Yeah. It's about to pop and my wiener's in there. I <laughs> there's no way. So there's a very small window of where I, I feel like. I'm very turned on by her. I'm very, very, very turned on by her, her body, just like everything. Nothing's really changed. Right. Except the feeling like when it's happening, I'm like, there's something in there, you're, dude. You're, you're head to head. Oh, I almost feel yes. like you can't yes. think oh, about it. Like you have to really not. How do you not think about it? But it's, it's, I know, it's weird. I know it's weird. Mm -hmm. It's so weird. Like even I was feeling like, I, I remember I was telling one of my girlfriends, I was like, it can gets weird about it. Like I'm going to understand it. Cause I mean, it is, I don't feel like, sexy. Mm -hmm. I'm not like, ooh, let me jump on top of you and like, I don't know. I've got this big thing in the way. Like, I can't even like, I don't know. Well, it's put weird. It there, so, okay. Yeah. It's weird, but it's doable. Like, it's, it's not that you can't do it. And it's not that it doesn't still like everything works fine. Everything's great <laughs> after good. like, you know, you're limited, fine. Limited on positions. Limited mobility. Limited yep. on positions. Mm -hmm. You definitely mm -hmm. have to be a little careful. Like everything is just a little different. And like yeah. I said, still turned on, still like every, the sex life is still like normal. It's just, you know, there's a child in there now. It's just like different <laughs> mentally. I don't know. And we're in this, and the second trimester is when you kind of want to explore that. If right. you yeah. like want to have some fun and you want to have sex, like, I mean, I haven't gone to my third trimester yet, but I'm going to say like, this is the time because I already feel like I'm getting pretty big. I can't imagine when I'm about to be like 
34 weeks, right. close to my 40. Yeah. I mean, like the, oh, our friend, Justin and Ivana, she was like, oh yeah, he was having sex with me up to the day of the birth. Like he just would not stop. Whoa. Yeah. And um, same with, you know, like my mom. My mom was like, oh yeah, the reason I had, you know, Blake or whatever is because your father and I were having sex and then- Oh yeah, it can he, induce pregnancy. I've yeah. heard that before. <laughs> yeah. That's a conversation but, I know yeah. easier. My mom. But to me, yeah, that's I'm kind of just like, what? Like yeah. that sounds yeah. terrible. Like I don't want. Yeah, you're that. going all through, through all these things, and the guys just like come here. But at least you guys are like on the same page, right? Wouldn't it be oh, awful absolutely. if like one yeah, of you yeah, was yeah. over you're here matched. and one's over there? Yeah. Yeah, I bring it up more like because I'm <laughs> I'm kind of someone who's just like I just want to know like is it on your mind? Because he, he Keen is so. Like, it always is. <laughs> yeah. At the end of at the end of everything, it's like we've been together for four years, and yeah. we are for sure not depleted in that that area. But mm-hmm. when it comes down to like this nine months. It's just a, like a small, like blip in yeah, time yeah, where it's like segment. we just got to be cautious now for these nine months, mm-hmm. and then and after, we, like it'd be back to normal. There's no head to head action. You know what I mean? There's no, there's no, <laughs> oh, there's no verses in there. There's no battle. Mm-hmm. And we're honestly getting like our, um, what is it, like our, our dopamine, our serotonin, like whatever. We're getting that that excitement from different things now yeah. instead of yeah. Yeah, from sex. For sure. So I guess like in our minds, we're kind of like, yeah, we're still really happy. Maybe our sex life is definitely a little bit smaller than it used to be, but like, it's not really affecting us personally. Right. You can so, just like have intimacy in different ways. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Like watching Next Level Chef. On, yeah. Right, Hulu. <laughs> we love that yes. show. Hey, 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 calm down here, all right? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, Let's get through whoa. this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> you guys yeah. have given me hope that it's going to be okay to not uh, have everything planned out. Oh yeah. It's so okay. As long as you and your, I would say you don't have to have everything planned out, but what you do need is to make sure that you and your partner have open communication Mm -hmm. and that you both are agreeing on like, you know, Keenan and I have very different lifestyles. We will never, ever, ever agree on like how we want to live our life um, personally, if that makes sense. Like he will always be a homebody. I will always be the adventure. Right. That will never, like, we'll never be able to fix each other into becoming that. I'll be more, I'm more social. He's more like intimate, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's fine. But when it comes to our life and like what we believe in with like children, how we believe we should treat each other, how we believe we should treat our family, we're on the same wavelength. Right. So like the really important things just make sure you're good on that. Like you don't need to have your, you don't, we weren't even living together. We don't have everything planned out, but like the really important stuff of like being able to talk to each other. He always tries to like understand my point of view. And I always try to understand his point of view. Even if we don't always agree, we're like, okay, let me try to understand where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. I think that's why we're so good at like where we are right now is because we're, we're both like, yeah, we're not trying to be the perfect parents. We know nothing's going to work out exactly how we want but we're going to try and we're going to be there and we're good. We're definitely going to make sure that we're okay first before we try to like hone in on something that we don't know what we're doing yet. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah. that was inspirational as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Damn. He's like, yeah. I agree. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Short, short story. Uh, it's just communication <laughs> yeah, yeah. and trust. Oh yeah. We, yeah. Tr- we have to trust each other. Yeah. hundred percent. Um, okay, well, on that note, um, go watch the gender reveal as well, too. You will fucking sob. <laughs> I, I was yeah. telling Ayla that I literally was blow drying my hair, and I would just have to, like, sometimes move the the airflow to my eyeballs <laughs> to dry my tears. I just on my makeup, and I was, like, trying to suck back in my tears. It was so... <laughs> <laughs> it was so cute. So go check out the family channel. Um, go check out all the socials. We'll have a link in the description. And thank you, the three of you, for coming Yay. on the pod today. Thank you. Thank We're you, very excited. And maybe next time we'll come back with a baby. Yeah, whoa. first baby, first baby yes. on the podcast. And I'll make, baby I'll the make pod. you hold it. No. Oh, oh. 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 scares the hell out of me. <laughs> Thank you both for coming. We appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. We'll Bye. see everybody else next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.